Right, hello, YouTube? Smooth brain isn't that bad. <laughs> yeah, you don't gotta tell me twice. All right, YouTube is going. Hello. Uh, just just so you know, I know everyone wants to know, I did die at her first death yesterday. It was very unfortunate. Uh, I'll, I'll throw it up on the screen. Let me see if I can pull up the clip. First of many, hopefully not too many. <laughs> That's sick, you little sicko. Uh, it was a really, it was an unfortunate cart. I mean, I, I gotta say, as far as getting screwed over goes, this was a good one. So I even mentioned the, the problem. Oh, it didn't get it. It wasn't in this clip. But just before this, I'm like, I don't like all these sand pits. So what happens is I get hit. I should have ran towards him. I was thinking I can get away. And I go from that pit immediately into that pit. We died. Oops. That's it. That's how we died. Yeah, we were close. I, you know, I was going to end the stream after that. And uh, play some Dark Tide. Instead, we deleted the save and we got right back on it. Hold on, what's going on with the game? There we go. I kind of want to give my guy some hair. <laughs> I kind of really want to give him some hair, man. It's so unnerving. I still, don't get me wrong, I still played Dark Tide, I just played less of it. Sucks to suck. YouTube chat, what the fuck are you talking about? Sucks to suck. You starting beef with me, man? Huh? I got... I, I don't have, well, you guys know, I've got like, I've got no patience with, with YouTube chat. I will execute you. You said no. I don't. Is that a no as in you're groveling or a no as like you're triumphantly like being like, screw you, streamer. <laughs> gonna need some, we're gonna need some level of groveling. But we, uh, we got right back into it. We got right back into uh, high rank. I did not dawdle. I took the L and I just immediately got back. The craziest thing about YouTube bans is like, they're like, they, they think the best way to ban someone is just to shadow ban them with no appeal. <laughs> it's like actual like CIA, like mind game torture. It's crazy. Sucks to suck. I'll remember that. You're going, that is being uh, factored into my internal chat member rankings. And I'm letting you know right now, you're in the bottom 10%. It was a tough one, man. Are they added to the list? If you chat enough, or if you say something notable, you were, I, I remember. I keep that in my internal monologue. You started Nikkei and you got two meta units in your first couple polls? Congratulations, that's what they do. That that game 100% manipulate, uh, manipulates poll rates. Nice cue ball crusader I made. I didn't make him. Riozo made him. You think Riozo? You like it? Got nothing to do with me. I think we're gonna go dual blades and master rank. I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself. If we make it there, but assuming we make it there, we'll be going dual blades. It's all right. I mean, it, here's the thing. Uh, Tremor Res One would have saved us. 
Um, so next time we go in there, we will have Tremores and the Aqua thing and Stun Res. And also I will stay very, very far away. <laughs> Dude, Remediable, I have all of the hairstyles unlocked. So, t for it to land on bald... ...is very rare. Like, I had to not select any of the other hairstyles and just go for bald. So, yeah, you're right. Maybe in a way it is a good thing. I I did have Firewalker on. Can't the Char run an excessive amount of puddles? You just gotta wait it out. I was getting impatient because I wanted to play Dark Tide. That was my problem. He should be able to get to Fatalis within a day or two, I would assume. I don't know how much he plans to farm before Fatalis. The whole run is just Fatalis. I know I died on Shara, but it's really Fatalis. Is this the beginning of high rank? It is. Yep. This is the first quest. I don't know if you can really consider it a quest. Kanta doing hardcore? Oh, yeah. It's me, Kanta, and, and a Kanto Rex are all doing this run. If anything, my death maybe helped save Kanta because he saw it and he's like, I need to be careful. I need to respect these puddles. Honestly, I feel like Alatrion is easier than Shara because everything Alatrion does is fair. Whereas, I don't want to say nothing Shara does is fair, but you got to be real careful. He said he wants to farm Goldian? That's an interesting... <laughs> That's an interesting route. Stygian Zenogre for Dragon Duel Blades for Fatalis. Dragon Duel Blades. I was planning on going Duel Blades. Maybe I should stay with Insect Glaive because, like, I don't want to blow up his spot. But I was I was planning on Duel Blades now, too. What's my PB so far? We got the Shara. <laughs> What's yours? Did you get back to MR yet? Divine Blessing Secret is good. It is good. You're about to do Acidic? I don't know if I'll get to a, I'll probably get to Fulger today. Probably. Can't even imagine what time it is for people in Germany right now. Late. Uh, there's a command, Ash and Exile, in the title, if you want to read the title. The thing is, is with Stygian Dual Blades, you can't fully upgrade those things unless you're doing, um, Guiding Lands. Which is like, I don't, I mean, I don't know. You got to fight the Stygian no matter what, right? The Latrian Dual Blades? That's my plan. At least that's what I was thinking. He's gonna look around? Probably. Oh! I ruined it! I'm glad a Cantor tuned in at the perfect time! <laughs> Dual Blades is safe as Insect Glaive. They're both safe for different reasons. The thing is, is like, when I do my speed runs, like, I route for these gauges. So, like, while they're your enemy, they are my ally. <laughs> like, I plan on them. They're very good.
The thing is, is like, I've been doing a little bit of practice fog and like, I'm getting really good about turning my demon mode off and on. It's a very fast trigger, so it's not like the sort of thing that takes a lot of time. That was a pretty good pookie pookie. Well, if Kant is definitely doing dual blades, maybe I'll change my main. Maybe I'll, maybe I will go back to insect life. But I kind of kind of want to use something different. Sword and shield's not a bad idea, I guess. I mean, I would say sword and shield might be safer than dual blades. You know, you get the perfect rush part break bonus. Like that helps a lot. Lance is safe. It's safe on a lot of things. I wouldn't say it's safe on Fatalis. Did you like that, Sinister James? Juzu, thank you. Just resubscribed for four months. <laughs> Longsword Fatty, fail Hellbreaker, die to Fireball. Dude, the most beautiful way to die would be Helmbreaker into his flamethrower, mistime it or like misposition it, and then just like fall right into the flamethrower. <laughs> And he's so funny. And just be like, oh. Get Shared Nerd. Okay. Hey, Lucky to Spencer 4, I am banning you from YouTube. You are now banned. You are welcome to chat on, on Twitch. Enjoy the ads on Twitch. Okay. They're welcome to watch over it. They can still watch. I don't want to hear that garbage. <laughs> I don't know if you're banned on on YouTube. I, I don't even know. I don't even know if subscribers on YouTube get immune from from ads. Honestly. Whoa, that's so much dung. You get five dung from the dung beetle. Kind of wild. YouTube Premium would block the ads. I don't know if subscribing on YouTube does anything other than just, like, give me money. When will I add a third stream here for double band viewers? What would be your suggestion for additional places to stream to? Just stream on the hub, caffeine, TikTok. I don't know how the, um... I don't know how it would work on, on TikTok. I don't think it's like vertical. Does he stream on TikTok? I thought Facebook gaming was dead. How many attempts have I done? Read the title. Por todo el 40p streaming service? Talking about caffeine? Let's take a look and see what Zora options we have. I was thinking of making the Divine Protection Talisman. Stream to Twitter? I don't know about that. Oh, we can make some things. <laughs> That's just mean, man. <laughs> That's just mean. You know what, though? A lot of times I make the chainmail tacit, so this is just like a better chainmail tacit. Because there's really nothing else that's like any good. I just like the, the Spanish language. Orcrist. Buster, hello, good evening. So 
the hard to understand in the title. Look, I'm not gonna spell out an essay for you in my title, okay? You didn't watch the stream, that's on you. That's not on me. Maybe we'll just make it now. Well, you know, we'll make this stuff. I still need a coral crystal? That's annoying. That's insanely annoying. <laughs> wow. That kind of pisses me off a little bit. Didn't mean to sound like a dick, it's alright. You're not a dick. Fine. I'm I'm the problem, you're not the problem. Watch somebody do the challenge with heavy bow gun? I have no respect for gunners or people that use defender or guardian gear. I just want to make that very clear. What about bow players? I have a lot of respect for bow players. I want to do, man. I need coral crystals. I'll go here. You like the look of the defender weapons. Modded them to nerf them. Why not just use them as layered? Am I okay? I'm about to get hit by the same storm that Wet Dogs is. I'm a little worried. Some water got in my hole not that long ago, which is like... A trauma. All right, hold on. Okay. I have no idea where the pink Rathian tracks are on this map. Better luck in this run? It really wasn't, like, I wouldn't call it bad luck. I screwed up. I wanted to play Dark Tide, and I got a little too hasty, and then I died. It was my fault. I need more quality bones, man. It's all right, it's just more content. What is Dark Tide? Do you know Vermintide? And if you don't know Vermintide, do you know Left 4 Dead? Left 4 Dead is like Boomer Vermintide? I don't know. I don't know. Is that what we call it? I should learn Spanish. Although I saw some clips of something going down on Ecuador, man. I feel very bad. The worst part is like the, I mean, I wouldn't expect them to, but those, 
Those hostage takers did not have good trigger discipline at all. I don't know what was going on. It was terrifying. No, it's like Left 4 Dead, just like in the Warhammer universe. Oh, I needed to kill you anyways. Get over here. We want to get our guy on the coral horn as soon as possible. Do Shar of all things? I mean, if you watch the clip, you know, it... it <laughs> There was definitely something I could have done to not get in that, that situation in the first place, but once it happened, man, those, it was that ball was in motion. No getting out of that. <laughs> it was just mortis. I mean, there's no way that I could have known that there was another pit, like, uh, off screen, off camera, that was also waiting for me, and that he was going to shoot a beam into that one as well. You know what I mean? There's, like, I couldn't, I could have never have known that, <laughs> you know? If I was wildly rotating my camera, maybe. Hey, when is does Moon Moon talk at all about Monster Hunter? I know in the past he said he thought the game sucked. But I mean, come on, man. He could play it. He plays he plays like all the games except for this one. Is he still bad? Is he still in the GTA RP? He must have some bills to pay. <laughs> That's my expectation. His Tesla must need a new house. So he needs to buy a house for his Tesla. Bastard. I just want to watch him play Baldi's Math Basics game forever. <laughs> That's all I want to watch him play. And I don't know what that says about me, but... I liked it when he streamed that game. That was my favorite streams of his when he was streaming that game. We're still on Spanish. We're, we're only going to do great sword up and through high rank. We're going to switch over eventually. Kane, hello. We're going to make the arms first. How's it going? It's going all right. That slugger will help a little bit with KOs. It's all so interesting. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to go Divine Blessing. <laughs> like, Bleeding Resist is on here. This is, all, this is always the way it looks. All right, we could, can we fit this attack deco in here? We're going to Insect Glaive again to Master Rank. I was thinking of going Dual Blades, but I guess uh, Kant has been doing Dual Blades. So I don't know if I'll do it. I'm going to have some variety. But dual blades would definitely be mega safe against Fatalis. Uh, let's do another gathering round just to get some more bones. So we might do sword and shield. Sword and shield is, is fine. It's honestly super good. How about switch axe? I'm pretty good for... I'm pretty good at switch axe, right? 
Was that my mistake in the first place? Is abandoning the switch axe? I should just stayed with it the whole time. I am pretty good with switch axe. I would need a vade extender. How's the Alatrion switch axe? It's gotta have elemental file, but maybe it's good. Maybe it's good on the uh, Fatalis. Um, there's, um, you've got, you've got ways of getting plenty of decos. Welsh man, that's not really a huge issue. You could, you could kind of work around it. I just feel like sword and shield wouldn't be that hype. And I could be wrong. It's the safe option, but I just feel like it might be like, kind of like the boring option. I guess if I had to pick between the two, personally, I'd rather just do dual blades because I think it's just more interesting. But isn't Switch Axe really good against Fatalis? It's really good, yeah. It can be. You get a built-in part breaker bonus on the axe attacks when you uh, do power axe mode. No, we're not going to plunder blade Fatalis. <laughs> Although his helmet would be amazing to have. If you could just get his helmet, that would be perfect. Not a lot of good helmets. Is it 66 dragon with elemental file? It actually might, like, keep up with power file because of how much element it has. I'll think about it. I'll definitely think about it. We're just, we're doing great sword up through high rank. I mean, could I do great sword all the way to Fatalis? <laughs> hmm. I mean, that's, that that would take some pretty big balls, right? Light bow gun, you would just get deleted against Fatalis if he hit you. The nice thing with Greatsword is the Kestodon arms are extremely good in Master Rank. Like, they kind of go really hard. So that's an interesting idea. I'm trying to think if there's any matchup where I'd be really worried. Black Veil, maybe a little bit. Just a little bit though, not a lot. I mean, here here's the thing. Now that I'm like a uh, expert on jumping wide slashes, I'm really not that worried. Azue, thank you. Yeah, the, the thing is with Black Veil, like, uh, tackling is, is a very rare option. You just got to be very careful. You do not want to give yourself hyper armor there. That was a bad idea. I still need one more sturdy bone, right? Two quality bones. No, Lil Gif. I don't know if I'll ever play Degasm Gorm in Rise ever again. Maybe for like an all credits run. That's pretty much it. Alright, that's nice. Okay. Tu mapa muestra dónde estás y dónde te llevan los lafarillos. También es útil para seguir a los monstruos. I don't have to. I'd rather do for you. You're the person that misspelled insect glaive once and I've never let you forget it. Are you that person? Are you claim to be that person as your sky. But that, I mean, yeah, if I did dual blades, can you even cart in that game?
Do I not like Rise? It is my least favorite Monster Hunter game, and I've played basically all of them. It's just not a good game. For you, Deathless would be real tough. Getting through G1 would be a real interesting experience. You'd probably actually end up making, like, the bad armor sets just for the defense. If that is your least favorite till you started replaying this one, you like World Less Than Rise? You've got some issues, man. <laughs> and you got you need you need some therapy. I don't know. Middle school GED, I don't know. That's been my most recent <laughs> insult. It's just... If you don't like the clutch claw, just mod it out. Oh my god. He's going to be the guy that's like in five years is going to have the 10 hour long documentary on why actually World is the, the worst Monster Hunter game. <laughs> Allow me to explain why World lost its way and Rise is the real Monster Hunter. I understand if you don't. Ah, oh, I didn't get it off in time. If you don't like modern Monster Hunter, I mean, essentially, just you don't like Monster Hunter World because you just really like For You. I kind of get it. But if it were like I hate Monster Hunter World, but I love Monster Hunter Rise, that's the worst opinion. Because world is definitely not for you. Oops, that completely missed. I don't think anyone actually thinks that. There might be people out there that think that. Maybe it's just a straw man argument I'm coming up with, though. Was hit. Yeah, hit something. My stock. Or suck. What I like for you over world? World is my favorite game. I I can say that confidently. But for you, I think is a close second. I'm almost tied. GU went up my ranking. GU used to be tied with bottom of the list with Rise, but it's gone up to better than Rise, which is cool. That's an improvement. No, nah, Freedom Unite, has, I don't think has ever been my saying. I love Freedom Unite, but that, that ain't it. You prefer Rise over World, but World is still really good. The, the thing is, is like you're an element addict. 3U is not as good as portable third in the third gen games it's it's just like the balancing and it's so problematic like blast is all messed up everything is like mega tanky and g rank for like no reason 
It's still, it, br it brought back underwater. The special monsters are all like kind of lame. Like you get rid of a Matsu for like, like if you're like 12 years old, I would understand if you liked Abyssal the Geocrisp more than a Matsu. I get it. It's a child's monster. If you're a child, you're going to love that monster. But like, it's just not like, just like not a good monster. It's not fun to fight. It's not interesting. His armor is okay, but it's also just like kind of OP. Come on. Are you kidding me? Why do you think people hate on the Iceborne expansion? On release, the Clutch Claw, and to a certain extent, the Guiding Lands were a pretty big barrier to people in terms of like being able to just sit back and enjoy the game for what it was. The Clutch Claw is still pretty invasive, but it's better than it used to be. Yeah, it was like, you know, if you can't, like, if you were a fan of Monster Hunter and you rolled up on, you know, Monster Hunter World with your um, Rocksteady and Temporal Mantle already unlocked, you know, you're getting two free wall bangs instantly at the start of every run. First, you throw on your ma one of your mantles and you tenderize the monster. And then after that, it was like... Now I'm going to wall bang it twice. I'm going to get like 40 seconds of free damage. The monster's going to be enraged for like two or three minutes. And then I'm going to go back to wall banging it in. Now, having played the game a lot, some might say an excessive amount, I have learned that wall banging is not always good. Some monsters are actually better to fight when they're not enraged. So not wall banging them to keep them un uh, unenraged longer is actually helpful. This is assuming you're not running Agitator 7, right? Um, Fulgur Ajanoth, it's not worth it. Uh, Raki, it's not worth it. You're better off just letting them, them do their, let them do their thing. Oh, I did not up, I didn't get that either. Oh my God. Oh, I need a Monster Bone Plus. I don't think you can get that from Anjana. Well, I think we're going to need to fight Palomu again anyways. For his high rank divinity charm, so. I mean, the Guiding Lands is a perfectly decent post-game activity. You know, I don't know what people want. I want the end game to be have lots of content, but always be fun and always be giving me new things. Like, there's only so much they can do. It's, it was only semi a living game, right? It was never full on a full living game. It's way better than anything we got in Rise. Jagras, Kulu, and Tsitsi, is that it? Does Palomu not give them? I know Jagras gives Bone Plus. Can you change voiceover language without changing text languages? Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. How's the hunting? It's all right. I mean, so like a wall bang does around 2% of a monster's health, which is a lot. And then it's like, you know, sometimes it's like about the same or more damage as like an actual poison. Which, that's what's crazy to me, is, like, how much damage you get.
Yeah, I mean, the, the amount of items you get in the Guiding Lands, I don't think is a problem. Because, yeah, if you've got Geologist 1, I mean, it's just like, it's go time constantly. No, Osahista, I never majorly conflated my day job with my Monster Hunter content. I wasn't ashamed of my videos. I talked about them, if anyone asked. I, I don't think it was ever uh, majorly respected by anyone, but it was also, like, severely less understood at that point in time than it is now, right? I was ashamed of eating the pizza. I was I had a little shame there, yeah. Tell the pizza story? I don't want to tell it right now. Oh, we got the Monster Bun pluses. Oh, that's nice. We call this class chat sometimes. They still probably like it. Still ashamed. You're not wrong. I don't know. I mean, if there's one thing I learned is that in finance, a lot of people are like a hot mess when it comes to their finances. So I don't know that many of them are owning that many couches. They have better catches than me? Oh, they definitely do. Most of them probably do. But financially, they may never recover. <laughs> that's that's all I'm saying. In sales, everyone is a cocaine addict. I mean, you gotta you gotta have some pretty messed up morals to be in sales like long term. I mean, I'm not saying there's no such thing as a good salesperson. It's just, like, not common. I had a... I have a friend whose daughter used to, like, play pretend as if she was in a YouTube video. And that was, like, a long time ago. Do I do that now? No. <laughs> no. Absolutely not. I'm pretty good. I mean, I, when I was working in the group home, I was pretty good at leaving that at home and or at the job. And it's the same thing with streaming. When I'm not streaming, I'm not, like... I mean, obviously, I'll think about streaming sometimes, but I'm not, like, narrating what I'm doing to you guys. <laughs> Crown farming isn't that bad, Buster, but if you want to finish off the, um... Cuidado. Cuidado. If you want to finish the guild card, it's it's actual hell. It's real bad. You're going to speed run paying your property taxes? Mine goes through my mortgage company. See people in the gym watching Twitch in between sets? It's very different now. Yeah, no, streaming is definitely taken way different. Way. Seriously? I don't know. It's like, it's the modern day equivalent of just listening to the radio. That's how I think about it. Tail, tail took okay damage from like a baby swing. I don't know if this hits the tail or not. It's not. Oh. Try to get through it. Ooh, hey, that was more damage than I was expecting. This would kill me, by the way. 
If that hit me, I would just be dead. I got a home gym, Albedo, and I had to not bring down my tablet anymore because otherwise I was just spending way too much time in between sets. It was a real issue. Um, I mean, a three minute rest time in between sets, I don't think is excessive. You could do up to five minutes. I don't, I think anything more than five minutes, you're just being maybe a little lazy. You're not using defender weapons? You can check the rules to see the rules. No. Thank you. Ah! <laughs> well, you see, now there's all sorts of pressure. Sorry, Mortis. I think it's a little bit personal preference, Radiate. I mean, I cannot imagine it makes a significant difference. Other than just how much time you want to spend in the gym. Other than five minutes if you're lifting heavies, probably like not a bad idea. If you want to list, li wait five minutes in bodybuilding, I, I, I have to think that's probably fine. Let's get him out here. I mean, it depends how much free time you get, you know? I mean, if you're trying to fit in a set on your lunch break. We haven't gotten our KO yet, right? Not again! Ah! <laughs> Oh, he flinched a little bit while he was sleeping. That was actually kind of cute. Ah, oh, damn it! I hate this so much. Oh wow, that didn't flinch. Maybe because he was mid roar animation? I'm gonna use Greatsword the entire run. There's a sicko part of my brain that kinda wants to. It's a really bad idea. I should not do it. Why not? It's kinda dangerous. 
a lot of high attacks that you got to put a, like a lot of commitment in. I don't know. I'm not a coward. I'm <laughs> finding content. It's good content, man. It would be pretty base, though, right? Imagine if I got it with Greatsword. No, if he tells the Greatsword is amazing. That's like a free head break. Almost two free head breaks. Oh, he gave us the Bonster Bone Plus anyways. That was nice of him. We could actually make the Bone Greatsword if we wanted. Greatsword too hard to use? Nah, Greatsword's fine. I don't know, man. Maybe we will do it. I was gonna do dual blades, but Kansas doing dual blades, so like I may not do it. I may not do that now. The thing is, like sword and shield is like a good choice, but like it's lame. It's like a lame, lame choice. Sword and shield is more stylish than greatsword? I just can't agree with that. Look, as long as I'm farming this content, as long as people are watching it, I'll keep doing it, all right? So I'll hit up all the weapons as long as people still care to watch it. I'll even do a hunting horn mire eventually. It will be, uh, 2024 is a long year. All right. We got wilds in 2025. It might end up being 2026. <laughs> so, you know, you stick around as long as you're watching. No, progression bow is fine. Toby Kadachi clears low rank and high rank. Like, low rank Toby Kadachi clears up through Xeno actually pretty easily. It's one of the easier speedrun weapons in the game. Is that the rule? I'm not allowed to play wilds until you deathless fatalis. I'm not allowed to play wilds until every other content creator in the world gets an early review copy and I'm left trying to download the game on release day. That's fine, though. You think low rank or high rank is the part to worry about? You could probably take one hit from most monsters. I mean, you know, the progression bow would be rough in that you're, you are right. In the sense that you would have to make, like... Like, ice and fire probably clears almost everything. Maybe thunder. But, I mean, you'd have a Toby Kodachi bow anyways. That's just if you wanted to be safe. You can get away with probably worse and dumber things. Dogma 2 is out? I mean, we'll play Dogma 2. It's, that's good. Rise of the Ronin is good. Hell, I got a dual sense for... That grand blue game. I don't know when the, if the demo's been announced yet. Ow! K Kulu! <laughs> what the hell, bro? I logged into Stream Elements today, and it said my number one region was Germany, and I think it was trolling me. I don't know what it was doing there. Slap Lance would be easy enough? Um, well, it has a shield, but I mean, it would be kind of scary on, uh, on Fatalis. Imagine if that one move was just like an instant kill. The 12th? Like in two days? Depends on time zones, right? Vamos a visitar el laboratorio ecológico, compi. Ahora.
hora de ser héroes. Time to put the game. We played in German before. Yeah, how we doing? We need to restock a little bit. I don't have any max potions. I should probably get a couple. I'm going to wait until... What am I going to wait until? I'm going to wait until I upgrade my uh, greatsword again before we farm Divine Protection 2, I think. Oh, I mean, we've definitely beaten the game in every language at this point over the years. Cosmetic mods? I add, uh, I have blood back in the game. Was it worse than why I was at French? I've got no issue with French. French is a fine language. Estas bien? Is she asking if I'm okay? Is that like the, are you okay? Is that the equivalent of that voice line? Estas bien? She asked it again. Oh, I got the wrong pod. No! I thought I unequipped those. What a shame. Nice. Um, we're on borrowed time here. That, uh... Legiana's about to fall. Yo, I'm dodging these knives somehow. I'm scared. This is not the position I want to be in. And there's, ah, oh, there she is. I've definitely died to a pink Rathian before. I used to die to her a lot, actually, from this speedrun. Mm Gonna sharpen. I might actually. All right, we'll do like a wake up charge, and then we'll do a wall bang. Cause I want to reposition her. What the hell?
Nope, 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 nope. Oh, this is such garbage. <laughs> See you, loser! <laughs> so funny that the I hit her with a claw and she didn't move Sworn I saw a pod fall off there. Must have just been animation. Little bit of a jump shard on that Legiana. Here we go again. Get him. Save me the flash. That could be a, I don't know. I don't think that's a crown CC. Awesome. That's great. I was seeing Mortis for a second there. Why are you not select select it? idea why she has not dropped her pods yet. <laughs> why have you not dropped your pods yet? And now you're limping? She dropped zero pods. I don't know what happened. She was probably ready for capture forever. Whatever. It is what it is. You saw my death to Shara. Sorry about that. It's all right. Now we're using Greatsword. Why the switch to Greatsword? I thought it would be entertaining. And so far, I think it has been. <laughs> I would say it meets the definition of entertaining. Uh, can't I think still on his first run? Apparently he beat Shara today. I don't know how much farther he got other than that. Am I crying on the inside? Do I sound like it? Maybe you would be. I'm fine, man. We did a little bit of charge blade at the beginning of this run, but I was not feeling that at all. Do I have a new game plan for Shara? I'll bring Tremor, Tremor Riz one. Espera, no me he presentado, ¿verdad? 
Other than that, uh, I mean, I'll still bring Wirewalker and Stun Resistance. Charge Blade is only entertaining because I was constantly almost dying. I was running up against Anjanath almost naked. Noxel is in the Twitch chat if you want to talk to him, Berserking Soul. He's there. No, he's leaving now. He was there, though. I'm talking to YouTube chat at the same time, Albedo. There's YouTube chat and Twitch chat. YouTube chat's been popping off. Like 150 people in there most nights. That's a lot of people for YouTube for me. <laughs> That's like... A slight, only ever so slightly below average stream on Twitch. Isn't there a plugin that shows YouTube chat with Twitch chat? Uh, if you know it, you let me know. I tried to get it to work with um, Restream and it didn't. People banned in Twitch have found the YouTube stream. And the worst part is, is, like, I'm way stricter on YouTube chat than I am in Twitch chat. So you gotta be, like... Y yeah, you can far cast her, Maggie. Yeah, there's no, I, I'm, not, I'm not taking that off. No, I've got I've got no patience for it. I've got patience for one chat. I, I can't have patience with two chats. Yeah, I mean you could return from quests. Like there's a lot of quests in the game where you don't get the full quest rewards if you clear it. So I usually return. I got to kill the monster anyways. I may as well get the full quest rewards. That's how I feel about it. There's a timeout feature on YouTube, but it's only like 24 hours, and like that's not enough. Like if I'm gonna time someone out, like I'm gonna time them out for a week. I'm not just gonna time them out for 24 hours. So I just gotta ban them. So if you clutch claw the monster, they stay in their staggered animation for a little bit longer, Hamburger. So if they're already tenderized, you have no desire to tenderize them or wallbang them. Um, you could do that to get off like a slightly longer combo. Demand a jab below. Although some weapons actually have like a really powerful clutch claw attack. Like Insect Glaive, the, the move is actually pretty strong. It's a light weapon too, so you kind of want to keep hitting them. But for Greatsword, you know, you can do like a level 3 tackle and do a jumping wide slash pretty easily after you grab them. And that builds up stun and a decent amount of damage. Greatsword also, that's a good point. Greatsword, it like chews up your sharpness. So the damage on it isn't bad, but like you can do just as good damage comboing the monsters, so... Oh, I forgot to do that quest. Thank you, Shroudzy. Yeah, I got to switch over to the, uh, the Coral Horn. Good luck. Thanks, Flan. It's a fun run. You should try it, too. I, I, I mean, it's great content. People love it. <laughs> um... It would be stressful if you combine an actual timer with it. 
But if it's not timed, it's actually kind of chill. Deathless TA wiki. <laughs> I, it's TA Wiki with no resets, man. I mean, it's actually ideal content. That's the worst part about TA runs is like nobody wants to see the making of the sausage. A Talus in 10 hours. That would be very difficult without Guardian gear. Defender gear. I know Jal did it once. I don't know if he's done it again. I know he did it one time. I mean, if you've got Fortify and you're allowed to use said Fortify against Fatalis, it's not that bad. Why don't I? I like this better. I like to stream and then I like to play Dark Tide for a couple hours. And if I if I got to do like a 12 hour speed run, that means I can't play Dark Tide. Forty hour for you speed run pop up to YouTube. I mean, those are just like the endurance runs. Next, I'm sure people in this chat are like, "When are you gonna do the Mantis percent?" How did I spend my Plasteel? Uh, I, I spent it almost all on my veteran, just like trying out different things. I had one run the other night, and I guess I'm partially to blame. That took like almost forty minutes, and we had three hundred Plasteel at the end of it. It was like three uh, zealots, and they all decided to bring guns, and they're always grabbing ammo. It was very annoying. <laughs> it's like, aren't they supposed to be good at melee? Like, why are you guys gunning all the time? But I think the essential skills for longsword? Just like... Your normal damage stuff. I mean... I think with the Elatrian arms, you can get free power prolonger 3, which... While seem seemingly stupid, is actually, like, kind of nice to have. What does percent mean? It, it indicates the category of the run. So any percent in general refers to whatever it takes to get to the credits. So if you're doing something other than just a run to the credits, or if there's like multiple credits, you want to specify what the run is going to be until. But yeah, those zealots, man. I'm not I'm not throwing too much shade. Like, we did clear it. I mean, at the end of the day, if you clear it, like, who cares? But, like, 300 Plasteel in, in 40 minutes on whatever Malice difficulty 5 is not, it's not a good time. Imagine if the Burgon just rolled me over and I died. That'd be pretty sick. Quick Sheath is useless on Longsword? Quick Sheath is great. Changes your animation. Quick Sheath 3 changes your animation. So it makes the special sheath better. It just, it, it completely changes how you use the quick sheath, the, the special sheath. It's a minor boost in world compared to Rise. I don't know if I agree with that. It's pretty significant in world. Rise, it's downright mandatory, but in world, it's still really helpful. Just with all these fire cells, man. Stop giving me fire cells! I'm wasting my time! Sucks. 
Zealots are great with auto guns? I'm not saying Zealots are bad with guns. I'm just saying, like, I never saw them using their melee weapons. They were just using their guns all the time. And then they took all the ammo. And then I was a veteran with no ammo and a tactical axe. <laughs> That's all I'm complaining about. I'm not trying to pigeonhole a zealot. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, they're supposed to... Well, I'm talking about Dark Tide. I've been playing it a lot lately off stream. I'm just saying, like, you're up there with Ogren in terms of being good in melee, and you got, like, a little fragile veteran in the back, back line. And they're all just, like, standing next to me shooting rather than using their weapons. And then I had no, I had no ammo. I was really liking the Columnus Braced Auto Gun, but I switched over to a normal auto gun because I was finding, like, the Braced Auto Gun was too bad at, like, taking out snipers. Like, anything, like, at a significant difference in the way. It was awesome in the mid-range, but whenever anything got, like, farther than mid-range, it just, like, fell off real bad. So I, I think I'm going to use a normal auto gun. It's not as powerful, but that's the trade-off, right? If it was as powerful as a Braced Auto Gun at the long range, I'd be broken. What, fate, what great sword would I use for Fatalis? I'd have to do a little research. I mean, Raging Bracky is definitely a, a, not a bad choice. But as as insane as it sounds, um, you know, Alatrion might still be a good choice. The Jumping Wide Slash, which I really like to use, gets a good elemental modifier on it, which is kind of funny. Favorite map in World and Rise? Well, I don't have any favorite maps in Rise. I I guess I have least favorite maps. I think the Shrine Temple looks like ass cheeks. Like, not good ones. Bad ones. Ones that have been on a 12-hour continental flight after eating, like, an all-you-can-eat chili buffet. The goo swamp? Alright, yeah. I'll take that. I like the goo map. I like, I like, I like knocking things over in the goo. This has got to be some of the worst RNG I've ever had. We're going to, I'm going to, I think there's one more blue node over here. And we're just going to try and grab that. Oh, that's exactly what I needed. One more fire cell stone. Jesus Christ. Oh, you think the rise maps are better than any world map? Maybe I'm weird. You are. <laughs> you are weird. Definitely. Um, It's not for Zenny, but actually th those things will be helpful when it comes to melding items. How's the monster hunting? The monsters are fine, man. I just need one more Fusia more. Going to sleep, Becky? Have a good night. In terms of just fighting the monsters, all right. Rise, if you only want flat, even playing fields, which I get it. There's, you know, in the olden, the olden ways of monster hunter, like you rarely had hills. You never had a hill. Oh, now you give it to me. I see how it is. You had no ledges. But you know what? World makes ledges feel kind of okay. They're not the worst thing ever. That's cope. They will still kill you, but they kill you less than the other games. And they could actually be advantageous sometimes. I'm just saying they're a little less ass. That's all I'm saying. I 
Like, you mean to tell me you've never seen those speed runs of people doing Nergi Gante as, like, they're spinning back and forth on them over and over again? That's kind of cool. Oh, I know what I needed. That's right. Another fire cell stone. <laughs> <laughs> Estas Moy Mall. That's like very bad, right? Moy Mall. <laughs> this is insane. I have never seen this before. Yeah, screw this map. Getting out of here. Uh, do we want to farm Palomo now? I guess we do. What am I looking for? I mean, we got what we need, but we're going to need more for an upgrade. I just established we're not selling any of it for Zenny, man. Zenny's not our, our limiter. It's a little bit until I sell my Zora parts, but it, I can meld it. That's that's the only thing I could really do with it. How far have I gotten ch this challenge? We got the Shara yesterday. That was pretty good. There's another streamer who just got past Shara. So someone's technically got past my watermark. I was, I guess, in the lead for like... A very short period of time. This is kind of cool. I have no idea, Fog. I heard not many. No, it's not impossible. If you can get past Fatalis, you're Gucci. Well, <laughs> okay, that's a big if. But, I mean, everything else is mostly, like, okay. I would not trust Jack Daniels lemonade. Not that I dislike Jack Daniels, but I don't think it would mix well with lemonade. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, rascal. Thank you. Oh, you know what? This is kind of better. Maybe I'll make that. That tacit. We made it last time. We make it this time too. Uh, that's all Polomu stuff. Is Polomu showing up in the list yet? Uh, you know, I've got a bottle of champagne that I still need to polish off. Think Fatalis Armor was overkill for late game? I mean, it is like the end of the game. I don't think there's anything wrong with making it overpowered. What rank is Palomo in? You know, there's probably somebody who's gotten through the game deathless and they didn't even realize it. You know what I mean? Like, they were just playing very slowly, very deliberately. I don't know about Fatalis, though. I could see everything else but Fatalis. So this is pretty strong now, right? This is 160 raw. 150. I'm 
we're over on flash bugs. Isn't there a damage run up to Shara? It was segmented, so... I don't know if you'd really call it damageless. It's th it was a theoretically possible run that was never actually done, but I guess it's still an interesting experiment. It started off as like, we're going to have save points, and then it was like, we're going to have save points after every monster. <laughs> Just like, all right, man, I mean, it's your YouTube, I guess. My sharpness! Yeah, the blood is a mod, yep. I'm a sicko, man. I need blood in my video games. You can call me whatever you want. It's deserved. Honestly, I don't know if they're just like restoring a lost blood fu function because it does look very natural, doesn't it? I think we get hit here. Yeah. No. I keep forgetting to do the quest. Oh no. Yo! Polomu, you're so strong! Leave. Leave it alone. What a tap number is this? You can check the title. And there's commands in the title. Morzakun, you can check the title. And there's commands in the title. Oh. Oh, well, we're done anyways. gonna get everything we need but that'll at least put him in the arena so if we got to do it again doesn't look like it
don't do the chef. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Why am I bald? Uh, genetics, probably. My dad was kind of bald, so. I mean, the death. Uh, the death to Char, I felt like was at least like kind of like a respectable death. That was like a warrior's death. Stress probably doesn't help either, yeah. Stress can probably make you, like, at least a little bold. Is it not all bald or not bald? You're not, not familiar with, like, male pattern baldness? It's de definitely a thing, right? God's German here wants to die for country. Oblige him. We gotta break those wings, man. I gotta go out of my way to break the wings. I mean, that was a hell of a combo. George Costanza bald? I'm not that bold. But who knows? Give it time. Could happen. I feel like if you're gonna be George Costanza bald, you'd be that bald by like, probably by like your mid 20s. You would know. Did I do the Palico quest? God damn it. No, nah, we gotta do that. That's gotta be our next priority. Even if we don't get it here, we gotta do it. Jason Alexander looks amazing. Show it to me, Daddy. I'm very upset that he's never had like major success lance. in another role. Oh yeah, that insect lave. Oh, I'd really suck the extract out of you. He was in Pretty Woman. I mean, I think I've seen at least a little bit of Pretty Woman. Uh, oh, you know what? We hit something. I'll take it. It's really not hitting that hard. Wait, did that automatically break both wings? I can't tell. That wing still looks like it needs to be broken. That left wing. Can I tenderize it? <laughs> if I hit the wing. All right, if there's one complaint about Clutch Claw, that is absolutely one of them. Tackling KO? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it'll it'll help build up exhaust as well, I assume. If you go for it a lot, like, you could pretty reliably get two KOs a, a run. I mean, the first KO isn't any harder, I think, in Master Rank. The monsters are scarier though? Well, that's true. You got me there. 
This is not the first run. I did, I've seen, um, oh, what was the McDonald's commercial he was in? And it was like cold and hot, hot and cold, cold and hot. Was it a McDonald's commercial? Was it a Wendy's commercial? He's like dancing in it. Now we're talking about Jason Alexander in an old commercial. We got our two wings. Lucky. Hey, we got a decoration. It is? Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take crisis. It's not, it's not useless. It's just knowledge for like the next, the next attempt, you know, this attempt. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go get some, um, get some max potions. I mean, once once Fortify is triggered, Co Rascal, you were beyond the crisis. <laughs> you know what I mean? The crisis is now over, and you are safely waiting in camp. <laughs> That's the difference. You are you are now in a post-crisis state. I I can't even meld my fire cell stones. Oh, that's so lame. Yeah, Insect Glaive guy died. Warp Psyker. I would have loved to have a Psyker in that one mission last night. Those guys don't use much ammo at all. It's so annoying. All the psych all, all the zealots taking up all my ammo. What are you guys doing, man? Knock it off. I need that. I keep trying to play the other classes, but, like, I just keep wanting to play Veteran. Which I know is really funny, because I have famously slow hands and bad aim, but... I just have so much fun playing it. Don't forget the Palico quest? God damn it! Or oh, we gotta do it now. <laughs> we gotta do it now. We gotta do it. Gonna keep forgetting it. We're not gonna forget anymore. We're gonna get it. Because we gotta level it up. Every quest we don't do means it will be a weaker tool by the time that we need to use it. So we're gonna we're gonna get it now. I mean it's a it's a fun quest. I was really enjoying Bolt Gunner before Dark Tide, and now I just want to play Dark Tide. So I don't even know if I'll ever finish that game. But it was a fun game. I could recommend Bolt Gunner if you're into boomer shooters. Ever play Vermintide 2? I did. I did not like it as much as I like Vermintide 1. And I certainly didn't like it as much as I like Dark Tide, which I know is like, people would probably think I'm crazy. Like, are you nuts? You know, I always say the heart wants what the heart wants, and... I mean, what are you going to do? All right. Well, I cannot capture them, so we're going to lose those 40 seconds forever. Any interest in Rogue Trader? Not really. I mean, Bolt Gunner's got a lot of blood, too, though. And I, I, but although I do have the blood mod on Dark Tide. 
Hey, 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 hey! What? <laughs> yeah, the blood mod makes it so that the monsters, the enemies always explode in some way. It's actually kind of helpful. Sometimes if you're using like a, uh, a bludgeoning weapon, you're unsure whether or not the enemy is dead or not. And this way you see their head explode. So like, you're like, all right, that guy's definitely dead. That's what the hit markers are for? My hit markers are things dying. <laughs> That's my love language. <laughs> my love language is things dying in some way. This is normal. Stop running. Let me murder you. I'm out of stamina. Do I think anything good of Exo Primal? No. <laughs> I don't. Uh, it's possible the team that made it will have some additional experience for the next game that they work on, but that, that game is not going anywhere. Is there a mod that lets you partially equip an armor set? You just equip the armor piece by piece. Are you talking about like the one sets, like the Witcher armor set and stuff that's like a full thing? I don't I don't understand what the question is. The, an the answer, I'm just going to say, is yes. No matter what you're asking. Although, I don't know if there's a thing that lets you, like, break up, like, the Witcher set or, like, the Leon set and stuff like that. Does the blood mod make the blood spatter bigger on bitter headstones like the old games? I think it does, yeah. Which does make sense if, like, our theory is that it was originally in the game and they removed it. They even have three different types of blood color, too, which I don't know if that would have been in the game originally or not. But it's interesting to think about. Dark, bright, and mixed. I think we're on mixed now. I might switch it back over to the bright, though. I think I prefer the bright blood better. You want clear armor for your bow, but only the legs and boots. Yeah, I don't think you can do that. I don't, I, don't, I don't think there's a mod that lets you do that. There might be a mod that lets you set it for lay. Do you want to use like the actual equipment or you want the layered? Am I doing things differently this run? No, I plan to die on Shara again. I want to. I want to. I want to to be a, a fucking Groundhog Day. The run, just the same thing over and over and over again, forever. We're using great sword. Do you not see the great sword on my back? It's on the screen. It's right in front of you.
could be anything. It's true. It could be. Still insisting that Major Black still needs to go back to get his GED from middle school. For the longest time, I thought he was a British soccer hooligan, and he told me he was American, and I felt a great deal of disappointment. Because I at least that made sense to me. I'm like, well, he's probably got some sort of like brain damage or some some sort of like soccer related injury. I remember a, uh, a lady I worked with was very excited to have her son trying out for football at the time when, like, it was at, like, the peak of, like, the brain injury concern in football. And I was like, are you not even, like, the least bit concerned? She's like, nah, he's going to go get him. I'm like, all right. I mean, all for professional sports and everything like that, but it's like, I don't know, man. be a little worried. Oh shoot, this is where we die. We don't die. Ooh, this is where we die! I mean, it's not like people are getting less brain damage nowadays. I feel like they do talk about it slightly less. Man, there's that one spot under the Grundle, man. Right, well, at least his his things are up now. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. Turn around, please. This ain't it, man. God damn it. God. Such a pain in the dick, dude. Protection actually helped us out a lot right there. That would have been a way bigger hit otherwise. Divine Protection helped out again. Oh, there we go. This has not been a great energy contest. Oh, we want to move him over now? I want to get him over here. And now he's no longer enraged. What a train wreck, man. What a train wreck of an energy got there. No. Stop.
Stop running! <laughs> How did that not get? Well, we got we got the horns broken. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Oh, we're so lucky. That was an amazing true charge slash. That looked real good. Uh, your combat numbers have always shown the real damage. But you know, in retrospect, it's probably very confusing to some players. The only thing that's really tough to tell is like how much of your damage is element versus how much is raw. That's one immortal dragon scale. We only need six. I don't think we're getting it. Wyvern King eye patch would actually be kind of huge. Maybe we should farm for it. Uh, but doesn't the... It switches over every Thursday, Volator. What weapon line am I planning on going? We're going to be an ore for now. Can't they did a tail run? I don't know how common they are as quest rewards. Did he make the weapon too? Honestly, if you're gonna farm him for the eye patch, you may you might as well farm him for the weapon. All things considered, it may not be longer than just mining. Oh, that's good. We got a heavy artillery. Is Nerd Nerd you got the greatsword good? 
It's all right. I mean, bone and ore are fine. Ore, ore is better, arguably, because of the sharpness. But. I liked bone on insect glaive because I like the spirit and strength boost, but otherwise, I don't... It really matters. Pookie is a pretty good greatsword. Shockingly good greatsword. Banbro is an okay one, too. Bueno, ahí está. Let me, um, let me take a look. The annoying part is if I farm Nergigante, it's not like, I don't think his research counts for everything else. Unless it does. It might. It might actually count for some of them. I've never, I've never tried farming. No, you got to get tracks. Oh, that's so annoying. No matter what you do, you must get tracks. With Pink Rathian, you can just kill things. Same thing with the guys in Mastering, but these guys, it's like, I think it's just tracks. Hmm. I think it's required on these guys. Yeah. I'm never replaying this game. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as it was Base World. Base World was bad. They did not make any adjustment to how much research you built up once Iceborne hit. They just gave you more tracks. Got the last boss of Iceborne and you're hard stuck. Stun resistance three, Meyer Walker one, Tremor resistance one. You know what? We'll do this. We'll do it. Yeah, you can just make the be a totus helmet. M my advice <laughs> is once. Oh no. Ooh. Once they start dropping those sand puddles, just be real careful. Can I help with Fatalis? I would help you with Fatalis if you needed help with Fatalis. If I stuck around, he would have gotten pissed off. Honestly, I don't think this is going to take as long as farming the ore. I feel like the ore is like way worse. The Elder Seal will actually be kind of helpful on Balhazak. It will arguably be harmful with Kushala Deora, but... Isn't Or RNG better? I mean, we're, we're doing two things at the same time. We're going to get a helmet that gives us weakness exploit too, and we're doing something that's going to give us a better weapon. So... Fernando Jones, thank you. Can I get a level two?
Uh, we will tenderize it. Hopefully it doesn't break it. Did not break it. Good. No! <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Stop with the fart noises. This is serious. Uh, I'm going to destroy all my sharpness to make sure that I could at least continue to hit the head at some point. This is a chance once I cut off this tail. I will turn off the fart noises. I will turn this car around. Does that count? As like a thing? No. I, I didn't even get a tail there. That sucks. to beat him by hitting his ass the whole time. It's gonna take forever for him to dive. He's gonna be like hard stuck in that mode. Although we might be able to wall bang him and if we get a true charge slash off on the head, it might be okay. Maybe. Oh, damn it. He's going to be enraged. Can you see my build? I don't have a build. I don't have a build that you should ever copy. <laughs> I'm surprised that arm hasn't. My trip looks insane. Thank you. I gotta live on this guy's left arm. Basically, I have to let this arm grow out. And turn black if I ever want him to get rid of all of his spines. I'm 
I'm looking at my health now, and I'm thinking I should probably heal. Might break the head? Oh, we're gonna go for the head now. What the hell did I break? Well, we got all the regrowth plates. We just need those tails. I don't think we're going to get them, though. At least I'm not very helpful of it. Feels really bad. Okay, hold on. Gonna line it up a little bit better. Oh, we got a midair, huh? It's about time, Cat Man. You were really taking your time on that, huh? We get two to three tails in a quest where the extra tails come from. I mean, I've had monsters give me multiple hearts, right? He wasn't about he was about to stay and fight until I, I whacked him. them having multiple hearts. I don't think that's an unreasonable expectation. You got a gem. That's nice. What's the blood mod for world? If you go to mod nexus and you search for blood under world, you'll find it. It's like the first choice. It's a solid run, but it's like, I feel like we're not going to get the things we need. And like, sometimes you get everything you need in one run. That's the crazy part. Oh, what are you going to do? You can meld for the Mighty Bow Deco now, Murphy, if you don't have it. You just need to beat Shara, I think. We got two. And no tails. I'm going to sunk cost my way. <laughs> I mean... 
just gonna do it anyways. That is extremely annoying. <laughs> I don't know if can you get tails as a quest reward? I have no idea. How do you get the assassin's hood? They took it out of the game. You gotta mod it in. Maybe I unlocked an investigation. Ooh, that's a great point. We should check. You got tails and reward from capture? Well, this is an elder dragon and I can't capture him. I'm putting on my wig. Nope. Nothing. What are you doing on items, man? I just, I don't even know if tails are like a carve reward or like a, uh, a quest reward. Oh, well, I'll just go for the dragon scale. I think. I'm just going to go for the dragon scale. And... Again? Seriously, again. No, it was a reasonable thing. Because, like, the, the tails can definitely show up in the investigation rewards. That would have been great. Only tail or in, uh, carve or investigation. That makes it basically impossible. I mean, it's fine. Like, I'm not... The damage on my weapon isn't really that big of a deal. But at this point, we are mega committed to the Wyvern King eye patch, so... We'll just wall bang him to help get shinies. This one looks kind of small, huh? Goddamn horns. Hold up. There we go. That move of his heals you a tiny bit. best place to fight him as he's rapidly targeting my cat in a tunnel. Stop. 
stop turning around, man. All right, hold on, let's wait a second. One, two. This sucks. <laughs> Such a pain in the air. I don't want to cut off the tail because then it's like he's not going to dive and I got to deal with his dumbass head again. Those broke off surprisingly easily? That's weird. Tenderize does a number on the... On the spines, huh? Uh, I might have quick sheath one. I think I've got the Odo legs. I, was I hitting those legs the whole time? I screwed up my timing there. I don't know how that happened. No TCS wake up. It's not always, I mean, it's nice. Sometimes really annoying. No, I'm not gonna go for the tail. Wait, were you not? I thought you were already in this mode. 
I guess not. Clearly not. Level 11 aesthetic Lavinous Charge Blade. Is that good endgame? Should be all right, I guess. I don't know. It could be really annoying with tenderizing. And usually in Master Rank, I use Savage Axe. So maybe an annoying weapon to use. You would absolutely want Master's Touch. I think it's like 290. It's the true raw on acidic lavenous weapons. Kushala is so annoying with greatsword. We'll be fighting Kushala very soon. You can see how I approach it with greatsword. That's a satisfying pierce cut if I've ever seen one. Just blasted it off his body. Guard pointing would mess up the sharpness too? Probably. Please. What is this? Don't forget, you're here forever. You can watch this fight all day. It's a pretty good fight. I have zero, zero tails after carving two tails. Okay. Well, we can make what we were going for. We could, I mean, almost definitely make another piece of Nergigante armor. I don't know if there's anything worth making, but. Agitator one would be all right. It would be better probably than quick sheath one. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> All that and I actually can't make anything else. Wow. That's crazy. Well, it is what it is. Ooh, we could already upgrade this to level three. All right, it was all worth it. Do we want to get our 13 Fusium ore? We're going to be upgrading probably ore again anyways. So. We'll put on the gatherer. Now I cannot hide the bulb. I can hide it temporarily. Get the rocket great sword? We're only 10 mines away. 10 lucky mines away. If you're not running crit boost, I'm sure it's fine. I'm putting this on. Those vest boys look like they want to start something. Am I running greatsword and master rank? I'm thinking about it. Uh, 
How good is Mushroom Mancer in Mastering? It's got a direct correlation to being good based on how much uh, wide range blue mushrooms you want to consume or how little you want to farm up max potions. I don't normally run it. Not saying it's bad, I'm just, I don't normally run it. We've just got like the worst luck. I mean, this is like insane. It's like almost unbelievable how bad our luck is with mining. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick with Greatsword for a while. It's just, it's fun. Like, I might die, but in a way, the thought of death, I think, helps keep me alive. As weird as that sounds. Master rank crowns? I'm almost done with mine. What pisses me off is like all the extra cat stuff. <laughs> emo streamer. I'll be your emo boy. Dude, the paw swap stuff is just like the worst. I think dying is worse than failing it. Because, like, the Nerd Gigante Tales are only really valid for, like, another five or six hunts. That's true, Beast. Thank you. That's two years, man. Congr thank you. Over two years. Oh, there's our fire cell. I wonder what the odds would be to get a fire cell every single time. Like, just, like, come back with, like, 18 fire cells. Like, living it up. Five more from nine mines? Twelve if I go all the way around? It's possible. I don't even know if I'm using the right, if that's the right mod list. I have cutscene skip, uh, the blood mod on, and true damage values on the weapons. That's it. The only mods we're using. Eating ribeyes all week. Lucky. Yay, we got it. Oh my god, we actually got it. We actually got it. Finally. It would be funny if I died to heat while mining. I promise you, I was looking at my life the entire time. True damage values? Um, in the majority of the Monster Hunter games, they add like a random number of multiplier to your damage in your stat screen based on what weapon you're using. And this just gets rid of that. I'm not I'm I'm not grinding your gigante anymore. Like we're done with that. I'm done with that. I'm not doing it anymore. So 180 rock. That's a huge jump. That's 30 more raw and an extra deco. That's sick. Alright. Earlier you made me you heard me tell a lie. I lied to you, and I, I'm gonna apologize to you. The, the lie was, I don't really need the next upgrade. But the truth is, 
I did want really want the weapon upgrade. <laughs> So I, I apologize. Please unfurl my twit longer. What was this on the internet today about Matt Pat? He's done making videos? I don't understand why you would ever release like an I'm retiring video. Unless it's purely clickbait. Because you could just be like, I'm not uploading. You just, you just like not upload and then just upload whenever you feel like it. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he's got like Patreon supporters or something. He sold his channel? I mean, good for him, I guess. So does that mean someone else is going to be making videos and like he's not going to be around at all anymore? I guess you should say something, then. If there's, like, some other dude making content on your channel. That is a little interesting. Like, we are all human. Like, we will all die, theoretically, someday. What's the, uh, you know... What's the right thing to do about your channel? Should you let some other person take it over? I remember there was this one really popular mom that was making videos. About cooking. She died, unfortunately. And then, like, her son or whatever was like, I'm gonna make this channel amazing! And then, like... It was just him smoking pot in a room playing GTA. I'm not worried about Valhazak. Who am I gonna sell my channel to? I'm gonna sell to you. Take a week off and let me stream on my channel. Let's see how it goes. I had my identical twin brother stream League of Legends on my channel. It didn't... It wasn't that popular. But I mean, I guess it was better than nothing. My channel was dead for years? You didn't know what happened? You didn't see the... Teamwork cast? It was my brother's standard size. It's about the same size, yeah. I I don't even care about game theory. I enjoy his food theory videos, though. That's it, Auntie Fee. That's the one I was thinking of. Uh, but I don't remember her son being that good at, like, replacing the content. My YouTube, right? I mean, we have not uploaded, like, a real video in, like, almost a year. I just remember she had a recipe for, like, feeding an ungodly amount of people on, like, a very small amount of, like, leftover Chinese food or something like that. Something like that. Like, damn. You're really feeding a lot of people there on TV. Live streams count? I don't know. I hate to make meaningless speculation wilds in the constant rise versus roll debate. I mean, it's not that there's not stuff worth talking about. I still really feel like it. Which is not something who... A, somebody who makes content creation for a living should be like, I don't feel like I'm not making content, but... I mean, it is what it is. Super deformed is what SD stands for. The little Gundam guys. Small Dong is also acceptable. Well, those were really good tracks on Kushala. Not that anyone cares. There's like the one guy in chat. I care! Streamer! I care! 
Well, no, there's at least one guy that cares. Honestly, don't care. Well, I think the majority of people don't care. I would say 99% of people don't care. There's got to be one guy that cares. And there it is. He's got like a crippling fear of heights and trees. And like now that I, I'm not in the uh, ancient forest, like we're not going to see it again for a while. I think the next time we're in the ancient forest, let me think. Is it Nargakuga? Is that it? Who else do you even fight there? In Iceborne? That might be it. Well, there's the intro cutscene. I guess I don't really count that, but I guess you should. Uh, Valhazak, you're right. Black Veil Valhazak is in the ancient forest. That's a good point. I think he's the guy that got us closest to dying in the last run because he farted on us and it almost killed us. Are YouTubers allowed to say the rise word? I haven't put a moderation on it yet, but I should. Valkana was close too, was it? I feel like it wasn't super close. We've got Divine Protection 3 now. We're definitely taking a different uh, line this time. What the hell, man? Just kick that thing. Oh yeah, she almost got us with her Nova. But like, we've got Divine Protection 3 now. I'm not going to count on it, but it should really help. That was mega rude. The Clutch Claw mod removed the flinching animation too. Depends which one you're talking about. There was one, but like, it got like taken down. I've got my best men working on a replacement. I, uh, but like ice changes too much, man. There are sometimes uh, bomb fish in that little pool. There's another mod out there that removes it and restores weakness exploit, but there needs to be one that only removes Claw Stagger. Why would Claw Stagger be considered bad? It just changes the game. Like, if you played a lot of base world, it changes the state of the game. Yeah, it does override other flinches that you might want instead. I know it's, it's, I don't know why it got put on hidden. It was working. They balance hit zones around it? I mean, they balanced Iceborne around using the Clutch Claw in various ways. And it's there to help you do that. It, do it does do that. It will help you in Iceborne. It'll help you more than it hurts you in Iceborne. It will hurt you more than it helps you in Base World. That's my general opinion on it. When I play casually, I generally prefer to have it off. I just think the game is more interesting without all the claw staggers, but that's just me personally. It's only because, like, there's ways to use the clutch claw without the claw stagger. Like, it was originally designed without claw stagger. You were meant to learn the monsters to the point that you could just use the claw anyways. Especially if you use wall banging as your method of um doing a tenderize, which is fine. I mean it's a perfectly acceptable way to use a down. Tenderizing isn't an issue. You can kill every monster in the game without tenderizing them. It won't be as fast, obviously, but... 
It's really not that big of a deal. It really depends on the hit zone. <laughs> well, this is really funny. I like how they're peacefully coexisting. They only fight. They're like children when uh, their parents aren't watching them. They'll actually play together and be nice. Uh, the order I did elders in was commonly decided by my flash bug count. Nice. Nice. The only thing bad about that is it's going to make me not want to make the armor charm for a long time. Oh, you know what? We could just sell all those Nergigante parts. I think. I don't, I don't think we need any of it. Well, we'll sell some of it. I don't know if we're going to be able to use any of it for any, like, any other random parts. I don't think so. I don't think it comes up. Man, that's like nine more raw. We're going to be like 207. Sell the gem. We've got two of them. Isn't that crazy? I did have the armor charm on Shara. We had everything we needed. Except I wasn't afraid enough. Should have been more afraid. Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, there's certain monsters you don't need to tenderize. Like, it's just not... As long as you're hitting a good hit zone, like, you're still hitting a good hit zone. Some monsters, like... I would say Acidic Lavinous? Who leaves his head open constantly? Is probably the monster I can think of the most that needs to be tenderized. To be... Reasonable at fighting. Fulgur Anjanoth is amazing if you do tenderize the legs. Falling off an Anasol's comment there. I agree with that 100%. Well, you're playing... If you're playing on ice, they change it so you don't need to tenderize. Because they rebounce all the hit zones. I'm saying even without that, though. Tenderizing? Uh, when you grab onto the monster with your clutch claw and attack them. All right, so we're completely full on flash bugs, so we'll start with Kushala. Kushala, Val, then Tio is kind of nice. Or Kushala, then Tio, depending on if I've got, like, spare flash bugs. It would be too big of a deal to have powered armor charm talents not take an inventory slot. At one point it would, but not anymore. You know in Monster Hunter Frontier you can combine them all into one item. It's just one item that gives you like 15 uh, attack and like 35 defense? Something like that. Forget how much defense the power charm and power talent put together. I mean, this is nice because, like, of course I've done plenty of speed runs against Kushala, but very few speed runs have I ever had this upgraded of a great sword and the Wyvern King eye patch. So, I mean, that's kind of neat. Kind of neat in general. So time attack refers to the original type of speed runs where people would speed run one individual level. So for like a complete boomer reference, you can play like the original Mario Brothers and do World 8-4 and just show people how quickly you can clear that, clear that level. That's what time attack used to stand for slash represent.
And then the term real-time attack was supposed to be for playing through one of the games in real time. Generally a full game speedrun. You can see her face in the reflection on that bulb. You can see my bald head in the bulb. <laughs> oh, for some reason, it's not giving me the right angle. But it did show her at one point. We don't see that in Rise! Don't get me started. So my take on Elder Seal? I, used, I liked that poison had more of a purpose. Um, I, I liked that dragon damage as well. Like, poison and dragon can work together to take down all the dragons. I just thought that was neat. As been called Rise of PS3 game? It's a game that was designed for a... eight-year-old Android tablet. I forget how old it actually is at this point. See the trickster gameplay? I did not. I pretty much woke up, cooked dinner, ate, and then came down to get ready to stream. I think it's hard to directly compare the Switch and the PlayStation 3. Because there's definitely some things the Switch can do that the PS3 cannot do. But if you were like, I don't know, doing arbitrary calculations, I'm sure... The PS3 would do more of them. Just the Switch would do them more efficiently. We might actually start with the Tenderize. Because this head kind of is not good. It's not a very good hit zone. For what it's worth, I do think Rise is a good looking Switch game. Trying to greed that jumping wide slash. I don't know if this greatsword could headlock Kushala. We got that. Hit the neck. I, I'm not, I don't want to alarm anyone. This Kushala is already at 50% health. <laughs> Uh, the tackle does KO. I think I think with enough practice, you could probably get a headlock with this gear, yeah? 
Honestly, Nergigante isn't even that much stronger. Ah, oh, man. I'm worried I'm not going to be able to get him with the stalactites. Stalagmites. What is it again? He's going to go up to his little nest and be really annoying up there. I think it would be RNG unlucky. Because it would depend on whether or not we got the crit off of weakness exploit. Portable third. Portable third is a better game, but like three U is a longer experience. Kind of depends on what you want. Dude, I just murdered that Kushal. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever cleared this in the same zone without using like a defender weapon. It was about five minutes. The first tenderize had just barely worn off. Six minutes. Nice defender transmog. Dude, if only, man. All that white sharpness. I don't know that I've ever had a chance to use this great sword against him. The extra 30 raw and tenderizing the head, I think, goes like kind of a long way. I don't know if that mount was necessary, but it felt free. God, I hate his his stupid bald head. Is that ooh? We got miasma. So tenderize is a complicated formula. It's like hit zone 100 minus hit zone divided by plus 100 minus hit zone divided by four. Basically, the worse the hit zone, the better it makes it. The better the hit zone, the le le least less necessary it is. Uh, was I readily geared? I should have had tre uh, tremor resistance. Now I want to do Teostra. Because now I want to see if I get another Influvium Deco. I said it just in a different way from what Siphonia said it. I use divide rather than multiply times 0.25. There's no way I get two in a row, but I mean. Teostra is arguably less scary than Valhazak. And it's not even like Valhazak is scary. Even though I know people like to say like I'm nervous. <laughs> 
I'm not nervous. Can I translate it? I, just, I already translated. If it's a good hit zone, you don't really need to tenderize other than for weakness exploit. If it's a bad hit zone, tenderizing makes it really a, a much better hit zone. Do you do the wide slash after some tackles to get out of the animations faster? Or is there a reason you don't follow through until the charge slash? I mean, the jumping wide slash is a perfectly good move. That does help position you out of the way of the monster. Like I could do if you're gonna do a true charge slash and you're gonna get hit. Just tackle into a jumping wide slash. And like it's it's fine. No, I didn't go to the list because like I died, so those people are free. They no they no longer have to live life in fear because I did not clear the run. The list exists for people that say I'm gonna die and then I don't die and then I time them out or ban them. But that original list has been purged. Slightly simple equation is new hit zone value equals 0.75 times hit zone plus 25. That doesn't, that's not the same though. Is it? I mean, if it's like a close enough. Oh, uh, we're going all the way up to, uh, Fatalis a little, bro. There's some other people doing the run. Kanta's doing the run. Aki's doing the run. He, Kanta just got past Shara today. I don't know how much he's going to grind for Fatalis. Try to stay off the list this time. No hard feelings, man. You know what? Let's grab this. We might have a reason for this. Vouchers do give slightly more rewards, and then they double your money. Heartless thing? Kanta said he was going to do it for the new year. And I said he would do it in one shot. And he said, no, I didn't. No, I won't. I died to Zora once. I thought that thing was going to explode in front of me. And then Aki started doing it. I'm like, well, if he's doing it. He died to Gajalaka. I think it was like he was fighting Nightshade. Something like that. Damage was reduced. Thank you. Oh. Took all that blast blight for nothing. I probably should have tackled into jumping white slash. We're just taking all of his blast, huh? The Gajas can be friends, man. Gajas and Boa Boa can both be friends. Just gotta treat him right. been a chill stream glad you're enjoying it man uh the only trick i can say about evasion in this game is the evasion starts as soon as you press the button which is not always the case in every game and then yeah other than that i mean it's just practice cool That's cool. 
Do I want to fight him here? I don't really want to fight. Oh, God damn it, he's gonna make me fight him. But yeah, you, mo many monsters have like a physical tell when the roar is about to happen. Like with Rathalos and Raffian, like it's as soon as they put their foot on the ground. But I mean, with enough practice, you just like get a sense for it. Some people will say like, don't use evasion window to practice evading, but I think it's, I think it's fine to use to practice. Certain things you actually need a evade window to get through. Like if you're fighting Behemoth, like it's very hard to like no, no evade many of his moves. Is that about to go off? I couldn't tell, man. Our guy's at 50% already. That'll hit him on his next one. Uh, kind of a weird combo, but... What are you doing? Why are you attacking now? I know that was disgusting, but I, I think I was the first person to discover this stupid tech. <laughs> this really stupid way of killing Teostra. I actually discovered it on a naked bow playthrough. I was naked. Both bookfish. I mean, you know, it helps me get immersed in the game. Is Rise worth getting if it's on sale? 
If you've already played and you're done with World, it's not a bad game. It's just like... A lot of the post game just crushes your soul. I mean, it's probably better now. That doesn't mean I ever want to play it, but it's, it's probably a little bit better now. No, there's no crossplay. World is way better. There's no question. It's not even. Well, Rise is my personal least favorite Monster Hunter game. And so I would generally recommend playing literally any Monster Hunter game over it, but. I mean, if it's on sale and you don't want to play any of the other games, I mean, it's fine. Would I ever go back to Freedom Unite? We did, like, a full Sword and Shield playthrough, like, two months ago. All the way up through White Fatalis. It was uh, difficult. I would call it difficult. Think of Monster Stories? If you feel like Pokemon well enough, it's fine. Oh, that was Freedom Unite Complete. I would never recommend playing base Freedom Unite if you have the ability to play Freedom Unite Complete. I like GU more than Rise? It, it's gone up the rankings. GU has definitely gone up in my internal. How's the 100% thing going? Oh, we're at 91%, something like that. We're getting there. Trey is just crowns and um, deviants. The Rise combat just feels extremely formulaic. Like, the monsters did get some better moves in some cases, but... It's like nothing the mon- The monsters just like... You know that funny little... GIF? Of like, that little cat person like breakdancing in front of a person? And they're just like looking at them, they're just like staring down at them? Like, that's... That's playing Monster Hunter Rise Combat. Where you've you got this like little monster, like a little break dancing in front of you. And then you just like hit them whenever you feel like it. And they can't do anything to you. It's so, like they look neat, but like nothing they do matters. I mean, if you put the monster movesets, Albedo, in like for you, like it would be really hard. Like some of those combos they do actually are pretty, pretty good. It's just like, doesn't matter in that game. Am I a greatsword main? I don't have a main weapon. I don't like playing bow guns though. I used to. I'm reformed now. I'm in a better place. Heard Sunbreak fixed endgame problems. Well, you know what? I would say the Rise endgame was better than Sunbreak endgame because there was none. <laughs> You know, you made a Narga weapon, you beat the game, you're like, wow, that was fun. It was like any other video game you would ever play. Sunbreak! Sunbreak's the problem. It was absolutely worse than Rampage. You didn't have to do that many Rampages. Oh, I forgot to put on my effluvium deco. Whatever. Well, if we die, we'll know why I died. I'm trying to get my mount here. Sunbreak traumatized me. Well, I'm a Monster Hunter content creator and like I'm obligated to play it. And it sucks. It's not fun to play. Not particularly fun to watch. It's definitely not fun to watch. Do I use evade window? No. They changed the roar timing, Gojuron. In Iceborne, they made base valves roar dodgeable. If Prokow is there, he will insist that he's seen somebody uh, roll Val's Roar before in the base game. It has never happened. But you can do it now. Now it's possible. Something else they changed? 
They reduced Ajanoth's sleep resistance. I don't know why they did that, but they did. They made him weaker. I can't really think of anything else. I'm sure there are other things that got changed, and I, like, I just don't know what they are. But those are the big ones. Probably gonna get paralyzed too. Dude, <laughs> these hits are so good. Oh yeah, I mean I'm sure with evade window. It was Roar in the base game that's available. It's just... Sunbreak casually whenever you felt like it with your buds, just making stuff and laughing, doing a good variety of stuff. I think it's probably okay. It was just the way they designed the end game was just kind of painful. From we just hit for 500 damage. Farts are really getting me. The problem is he's, he's leaving his stink around all over the place. We just hit for 529. very easily killing us in hard mode. Sometimes he just like runs at you. to leave.
Aw! Oh, got a little greedy there. Oh! Hold on! Hold on, hold on, hold on. So now they're here. Thank you very much, Nibble Snarf. Murdered this guy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nibble Snarf. Back to YouTube? Pretty soon Twitch will be as good as YouTube. Well, in theory, I, I applied for the beta that's gonna give us better stream quality on Twitch. Did you 100% GU on stream? No, we're taking a little break. Don't worry, it's not dead. When people tire of the hardcore content, we'll be back. Assuming we don't get anything new in March, which is a good guess. I kind of got to pee a little bit. I didn't pee, pee before Xeno. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll get some more iced tea as well. I like that. What do we get? That looks like Dragon Res. Hooray! I'll be right back. Oh. I think that deco means uh, we're enabled uh, to be immune to effluvium. Delay is to enable higher quality? Yeah, there's a delay on YouTube um, if I want to have it at 1440p at a higher bit rate, unfortunately. I think to have real time in YouTube, you're limited to like 3,000 kilobits a second, which is like... That's, that's fine for, like, real life. It is not good for video games. Ah. Bangamzilla, hello. Uh, you guys are just staring uh, at that bald head the whole time? Twitch just announced today they're laying off 25% of their employees. It's really sad. How do you get quality bones? But any bone pile in high rank will get you quality bones. Wheezy. Pretty sure. 
Unless it's high rank. <laughs> now I'm confused. 35%, Jesus. Eh, maybe more than I thought. You got laid off this year too, market crash? The market's not, well, the market will feel it eventually. In the short term, companies can coast. They're not, they're not people aren't on payrolls so they can improve their profits. Obviously, long term, it's it's bad. I hate it. I hate I hate what the market does to things. Just make good products. Like, is it that hard? Just make good things that people want to buy on a regular basis. Bezos can take a pay cut. That I don't see. The weird thing is like Bezos is like, oh, I don't even work for anyone. I don't even work for Amazon anymore. He can make none of it. Nothing. All right. Uh, everything's fine. But if I wanted to change my legs, what would I change them to? Nothing. All right. We do need to switch our cat's weapon to poison. You got laid off just before your first mortgage payment? Oh my god. I still have like 20 years on mine. Unless I pay it off early. Help him? My sister-in-law asked me if I could hire her once. And I was like, uh... <laughs> I'm not XQC or Asmongold. I don't... I don't got that much money floating around. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have, I am not at the level I could start hiring employees. Like full time, like real, like help pay for your house employees. Oh. Got a job as an art teacher? That's wonderful. You find a much better job? That's good. Some, usually it works out. Same sister-in-law salty about YouTube premium? Imagine having to work for her and being like, hey, when am I going to get paid? <laughs> hey, when are, you, when are you going to pay me my... When am I going to get my paycheck? I did see this one very long video last night on XQC Adios. and his uh, a previous relationship he was in. That was wild. It was going to be it was set to be the largest common law marriage case in history. Uh, we still got to get through Master Rank. I like all the weapons, Toon Squad. I don't have any. I need one weapon that I use. I don't use bow guns really anymore. I'll use them for a little bit in wilds, but other than that, I mean, that's it. The weird thing is, you know, on a, the, the funny thing is she was asking for an insane sum of money, but consequently, even if he gave her a million dollars, like he makes a million dollars in a month. <laughs> That's the crazy, that's the insane thing. I mean, he makes a million dollars, probably several million dollars a month. He was in Texas? Texas is where they did the filing. At one point, he may or may not have given her an engagement ring. And when they went to Canada, they might have told the border agents that they were married because it was COVID. But they were never legally married. But apparently the case was dismissed, so. I'm much more entertaining? Well, I don't stream as much as him, and he also 
appeals to an even more tweaker crowd than I do. <laughs> uh, we're going to be dirty. Let's be dirty. We can be dirty. Did he get the car thing resolved? I don't think he's ever getting those cars back. From what I saw in the video. Those are her cars now. <laughs> and like, if I were him, man, I would just let that go. I know he said like he wants justice or whatever. I would file a counter like restraining order and be like, keep the cars and never contact me again. <laughs> You know, when you're doing 500 damage, true charge slashes, the 125 on the Singer Burst doesn't seem that powerful anymore. Oh, no! No! Stay down. Oh! Divine Protection saved us. Did I die? Yeah, I keep getting reborn, man. What a pain in the ass. You wouldn't think divine protection would be good because you can't rely on it, but it it procs a surprisingly large amount, doesn't it? That's the big benefit of divine blessing five. It really ups the proc rate. I was farther yesterday. I, I feel like I could go for a level three charge on that. Oh, I could definitely go for a level three on this. Oh, oh come on. not a good spot to be in. Will I go into Iceborne today? I've only been streaming for like, what, like two hours? Three hours? Four hours? Ideally, we would be beating Fulgur Anjanov today. I don't know if we'll get that far. But in a perfect world, we would be that far. I mean, we, we've been, this has been a very safe high rank. I guess that's all I'll say. Switch X faster? You can check the VODs, man. I feel like Switch Axe might have been faster. Because I didn't farm as much in high rank. Well, the others went way faster on Greatsword. Thank you, Vitality Mantle. Saving lives out here, man. We should not be doing any true charge slashes without a flinch. Fastest weapon for a speed run? Depends on the category. And the person running it. Sword and shield, if you're willing to play very boring, should in theory be the fastest. Dual blades might be very close. Played in a non-degenerate playstyle, I would say Charge Blade. Is the record? Oh, 
All right, we're good. We're gonna, hang, we're gonna hang back here a little bit. I could tackle through this, try and tackle through it. I'm not going to. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> 121 is a lot of damage. It's nice for high rank. We said we can get a level three here, right? Let's try it. Test it. You know, we might stick to great sword. People seem to enjoy watching it, I think. It, it is a cool weapon. I don't know how many true charge slashes we'll be hitting in Master Rank, but I guess you never know. This is really annoying. <laughs> Figure it out, Zeno. What do you want to do, dude? Uh, I don't believe in Chat democracy, I'm sorry. I go off of vibes. Would be the plan for Greatsword on Elatrion? Uh, I mean, it would be fine. Frostfang would be more than fine. I think there is a Beatota's Greatsword, but I think Frostfang would be probably better. Honestly, with enough dragon, you could probably get the dragon proc as well. Swordfish? Swordfish is unnecessary. Oh, I feel so bad. Uh, Kanta is not carded yet. A Cantor carded to Gajas? I think he was fighting Nightshade Palomu. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I mean, it was a, his death was similar to mine in that he was like locked locked into death. My heart just skipped a couple beats. I hate that this ground is on fire. I've only died once. It was yesterday. I mean, I was just like a Cantor, like I was just stun locked. I could have prevented it. I should have just walked away, even Farcaster. Dude, Perfect Rush is so dumb. Like, I, I think I just got recommended a video today of somebody that just brought like 10 dung bombs to Fatalis and just like cleared the whole run by dung bombing, perfect rushing, fatalis to death. My eyes! It's so bright! 
Perfect Rush do? A lot of damage. That's what Perfect Rush does. It does a lot, a lot of damage. There, each hit was hitting for like 900 damage. Perfect Rush was added to Iceborne and it was like just kind of okay. And then I think it was the update that added Safi buffed it and it got really strong. And then yeah, like AT Val has, uh, AT Valcana makes it even stronger. The Dung Bombs let you go into a shortcut for Perfect Rush. Every time you do a Slinger Burst, you can go from the Slinger Burst to the shortcut. Well, hey, man. We got through uh, high rank twice. That's something. Why don't I do it? There's a person that comes into our, our stream, Claire. Every time we're doing SOSs, and literally all they do is perfect rush frostcraft in SOS. Don't play raid? I'm not planning on it. Yeah, so dung bombs don't do anything to elder dragons, so you can keep spraying them with dung and like they don't respond in any particular way. We got three gems. That's neat. I actually I've I've not been contacted at all to do the sponsorship. Let me check my uh DMs. Nope. Check my email. Hey. Nope. <laughs> you want me to play raid for free? <laughs> the other the other collab? What is that? The um Biobots or whatever it is? Bionicles? I would do the Bionicles collab. Zoids. Are those the same? Is a Zoid the same as a Bionicle? I'm going to get somebody really pissed off right now. Somebody in chat's going to be like furious. How dare you say they're the same? <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> People getting really pissed off. You guys are gonna get some really strange noises. It's gonna be up until when Beatota shows up that it's gonna start getting normal. Monster is the same as Dauntless, it's the same as Wild Hearts, it's the same as Tokenin. I mean, you know, as far as Monster games goes, I mean, they're not bad. <laughs> I mean, Dauntless is okay for like a couple days, once every three to four months. Wild Hearts, if it like actually ran, would be all right. Token has good ideas. No, God Eater sucks. No, no, keep God Eater out of there. Monster equals Lords of Akana. Do you think anyone's ever beaten Lords of Arcana? Do you think anyone actually bought the game? Like, imagine having, like, Freedom Unite on your PSP and then, like, also having Lords of Arcana. Like, how often would you scroll over and start up Lords of Arcana? Oh, we haven't finished GU yet. Sorry, we got, we got more to do. You weren't even here for it anyways, man. Great sword on a deathless run? I'm glad you like it. It's been fun. Dump a box of Lords of Arcana for $10 each? No, God Eater is not good. Dauntless just looks like a mobile game. Seven crit eye, seven attack, three crit boost is a good setup for Longsword. You could drop three attack and like, you don't have enough affinity on there, bro. You need like three weakness exploit. If you're gonna use all that critical eye or crit boost. Does returning the main menu stop the credits music? I mean, it could. Just 
We're, there's going to be more music. We've got more layers. There's going to be a third layer. <laughs> there's going to be four layers, actually. I lied. Dauntless is getting a big update this summer. <laughs> it's going to get worse. Now we still got the Beatotus thing that's going to come up. <laughs> like I said, Dauntless is fine if you play it a couple hours every couple months. No, this isn't going to crash the game. Soul Sacrifice was alright. I like the music. It's because of cutscene skip. It can't stop the music. Can I add more music? <laughs> How is that? You could use Toby Kadachi on Anjanoff, and it's like, all right, he takes some element. Good night, Sorrow. I mean, Tokenin's problem is they couldn't design good monsters. Everything else is all right. Their weapons are actually kind of peak. They did a good job designing weapons. Well, maybe not the gauntlets, but the other ones, I mean, the, the weapons are interesting. You're fighting the weapons more than you are the monsters. You can see my bald head. No! Talents are hard, man. You know somebody that put down World within seven hours because he said he would rather play Dauntless? I mean, that just tells you there's all sorts of people out there in this world, right? You just never know. Uh, we know we need to get... We need to get a little bit of... Uh... Trank Bombs. So I gotta go grab some Trank Bombs. I'll be right back. Guys out there that rage quit the Kezu? I'm still trying to figure, like, say somebody only plays hard games, but always sucks at them and gets really mad. Like, is there enough for a guy to get mad at and keep sucking every day that you keep watching them? Like, let's pretend for a moment that, like, they're the most entertaining person ever. I guess you'd watch them anyways. I'm not, I'm not going to name a person. I'm just giving a hypothetical. I mean, I've, I've often said you're, you're better off being a streamer and being entertaining than being, like, not entertaining and good. There's plenty of good players out there. You might have people that are playing the game and are good. Ever watch Northern Lion? Watch him all the time. He's great at games. Some games, he doesn't read the rules. And he's just, like, money. blitzing really through do. it. I need that money. Pay my bills. The electric bill. But most of the games he bill. plays are pretty good. Good thing I'm entertaining. <laughs> he's cracked at that one movie trivia game. He, he might actually genuinely be one of the best players in the world at it. He's pretty good at Super Auto Pets. I mean, he's not as good as, like... The players that only play those super auto pet type games, like that's the only content on their channel. You watch people who are best at their games and absolutely hate them. Uh, now I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> this son of a bitch, Shepard!
Well, I wouldn't say I'm the best at Monster. I'm, I'm good at certain aspects of Monster Hunter. Speedrun type stuff, I'm alright. You gonna play Lee of the Company? Enjoy. I will be playing Dark Tide in, I don't know, two or three hours, I guess. I don't know if we're going to make it to full garage now, but I mean, I guess you never know. I guess it depends on the RNG gods. World Glazer. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does Glazer mean? That sounds like vaguely sexual. Before me, Rise is your favorite game. Oh, you can still like it. How is Dark Tide? It's good, man. I've just been playing it, man. Nobody asked me. Nobody paid me. It's a good game now. And if you don't like it, that's fine. I'm not going to get mad. I never, I didn't play it a year ago. It was bad apparently a year ago. But you know what? I didn't play it. So that's got nothing to do with me. So I can make the Hornetarn Tacit and we could have Weakness Exploit 3. That'd be pretty sick. I mean, and the thing is, is like they could keep adding talents, you know, if they wanted. It's just, it's in a fun place right now, you know? It's like, I used to love playing Left 4 Dead. And it's like playing Left 4 Dead with some light permanent progression. I, I was reading a conversation where people were saying, like, they wish that they just got rid of all that, like, gear sc score and stuff. But, like, being able to make different builds is half the fun. And, like, it's not like it takes much to be able to beat Malice 5. If you got a fully upgraded weapon... Like a reasonably decent scored weapon, which doesn't take much. You'll be fine. We're going to be great sorting. Because I think it's badass. This is where the run ends. Last dragon, I want you to know that I'm putting you on the list. And if we clear the run without uh, beating Fatalis, I will, with, with beating Fatalis, I will time you out for two weeks. Assuming I beat Bandaro. But you know, you never know, we might, we might die here. He's being very annoying. Oh, he just disappeared. like ice resistance or something? No. Kind of weird. I didn't bring bombs. What a fool! Is Raging Bracky mandatory to get the Fatalis? Nope, he's optional. A lot of people get really freaked out about Raging Bracky, but like, he's really not that bad. As long as you've got like three points of blast resistance, like, really not that scary. I think this tenderizes the legs? Nope. It must have been the other spot.
Dude, he's cruising. Are you leaving? What are you doing? Are you or are you not? <laughs> That's twice? Get out of my way! There we go. Oops. Had everything right there except for the actual position. This is where the run begins? This is, and this is someone who gets it. Nowhere, thank you. Everyone's like, this is where the run ends. I need to get that, get me that guy's name. Last Dragon Zero One? Let me get your ass. I gotta put it on there. What is the list? Oh, you don't want to be on it. Only if I get it exactly right would I VIP them. You'd have to get it exactly right. It's kind of a funny gamble. Uh, I've done exactly one raid of Shadow Legends Bounty and I would not, I would not want to do it again. It's possible they haven't said anything because, like, I. They heard me say that. It's like, fine. Damn it. Keep getting the body, man. Get on the face! <laughs> 588 is not bad. We've already got pods popping. like a trailer. Almost trailer material. With them showing off this, the clutch claw in a way that looks good. <laughs> he was deciding. You weren't sure whether you wanted to get in there or not, were you? Damn. And like, we're still just using high rank stuff, man. Like, like we've got, we've got places we can go. This can go places. You don't even know what it does on Switch X? It helps you get into a transformation shops faster. Uh, it's always a good idea to capture. Is auto dodge cloak allowed? It's not against the rules. I have not specifically unallowed it. Hmm. How good is that Pookie Pookie Greatsword? It's probably okay, right?
Isn't Great Jagras best? It's probably pretty good. He's kind of annoying to get to pop up and master rank, though. But he's definitely good. Let's see. Ah, uh, he only gets blue for a while. Pookie Greatsword gets six, 60 poison? That does have 230 raw. It, it would get a sharpness modifier as well. Whenever I'm charging it. Goes up to 260 in white? How early? Like immediately. Permitidme de nuevo que os dé las gracias por el buen trabajo de reconocimiento que hicisteis. Yeah, we might go Jagras. I think it's pretty hard to beat. As much as I would love Pookie Pookie memes. I mean, it is a lot of poison on Pookie Pookie. That's all I'm saying, and it's only 20 less raw. Which, relatively speaking, is not that big of a deal. Jagras with non-elemental boost? Ah, yeah, if I had non-elemental boost. You know, it does have a lot of slots. It's got two level three slots. How do you get Master Rank Jagras Great Sword? Just gotta kill Great Jagras. I mean, I think they both, for bolted on weapon sets, I think they both look okay. It's extremely. We, we'll be fully upgraded on Great Jagras after, like, Barry Off? Is that right? If this is. If this. Kiriniko's to be believed. You just need slog bones. It's like immediately. How much to fully upgrade? Pookie Pookie's the same thing, though. Pookie's rare 10. I kind of want to go Pookie Pookie. Because I got a poison plus deco. And like, Rathian gear isn't that bad early on. And some monsters it's really good on. It would all depend on whether I had a non-elemental deco. And if, like, I don't get one, I think Pookie Pookie's actually better. What's the argument? Fallacy argument? What are we talking about? I mean, you can pretty easily get um, Poison Extend. All right. I mean, I you know, the, the thing is, is like crits are good, but without crit boost, they're not like insanely good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, Temporal Mantle is nice for like face tanking stuff. If you're if you're trying to tenderize something. But I would say yeah, rock steady and invasion for damage is usually normal. Pookie's there. There's like a special thing you need to do to get Great Jagras to show up. You gotta get you gotta get the grand grandma here. We could probably just do Banbaro. Like, are we even worried? Get Keston on arms? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I 
That's a good that's a good idea to start actually. I don't think you can meld it. I think you got to get lucky in the deco lottery. But it's just a I mean, you could probably just expedition your your Jagras, I guess. But the old lady after Banbro, he, he he will show up. I mean, our our weapon is doing fine damage right now. I think I'm thinking we're just gonna go Pookie though. It's just like it's different, and I think that's neat. A bit of Jai, thank you. For five, months. five months of Prime is not easy. Got to keep clicking that button. I mean, Pookie's right there. You know what I mean? Like, his quest is already available. Can we craft it, or do we gotta upgrade it? That's gonna be a pain in the ass if we gotta upgrade it, but... Probably do it anyways. Good gotta stop. Thank you, as well. Two months. Thank you both. Emo Poppy as well. Everybody clicking their primes? Amazing. We go for four? <laughs> Any more you primes? Just, like, Poppy sitting there, unwasted? How do you want me to grovel for your prime? What would help? What would help? What do I got to say? Prime my pump, please. Lance is not going to happen. Get bedazzled. Thank you as well. Crash course on slap Lance. It's actually not that hard. You just... Ask the Hoya, thank you. The, 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 the only debate on Slap Lance is should you ever full burst? That's the real question. But you just spin, slam, sweep. Spin, slam, sweep. You usually can't do it more than twice on any one down. wrong with Lance? Nothing. It's just like most people don't get excited when I play it. It it rivals playing as the Prowler in Generations Ultimate for people that like complain whenever I play it. Less people would play complain if I was playing normal to rapid fire light bogan. Gun Lance is no problem. Gun Lance does not have that issue. It's only just Lance. We probably just got an investigation for the Custodon. Driving you insane having to go through the entire weapon tree to make stuff in G-Rank? Eh, it's a process. At least it's easier once you got it. What's wrong with Bowgun? Nothing. Can we do the Wetfish quest immediately, or do we gotta, like, wait a little bit? Where am I? I go around this one. No, it's over here. Try gun lance to Fatalis? I mean, it's fine. It's a good weapon. Uh, people did like Wrath of Meow. That's true. Someday we'll find out the real motion values on everything. All will be revealed. Whole bunch of thick bones. Focus 2 is going to change a lot. I think that really summarizes it. Like, Lance is a great weapon to play, but... Other than very fancy stuff in Rise, I don't think it's a very fun weapon to watch. I feel like they nerfed the Prowler's, like, tool experience. I think, like, accidentally, they might have, like, reduced it. I know that sounds like conspiracy stuff, but it feels like it's slower than it used to be. Up it! Thank you! Is 
So, brutal bones. That is... Brain damage. Uh... Elder's Recess. I'm trying to think about whether I should make the Hornetar Tacit. Zephyr, thank you. Thank you for the bits. We don't see a lot of bits around here, but I'll take them when I see them. We got a brutal bone. Wow, that was fast. Okay, so we got that. Nuestra prioridad inmediata es establecer la base y asegurar Does it show Let's let's take a look at the weapon tree. Are we getting hell wheel sub numbers? Um there's a lot of people watching. They're not necessarily subscribing, but like, unless I'm pumping people for subs, they don't normally just subscribe specifically, which is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I just want a big tournament. So like, I'm not hurting for money. I'm not going to start like pumping people. Oh, uh, we can make it. We can make it just on its own. Killer B, thank you. What I win for, it was like around like, it was, it's like four thousand dollars. Pretty sweet. Why doesn't it show poison? That's not it. Hero Wars money coming in? That that's not a lot. That's not like tournament winning. Don't get too excited. What was the tournament for? Street Fighter 6. The sad thing is, like, that's more money from that tournament than, like, what most professional fighting game players were winning in their normal tournaments. Historically. Like, it's really messed up. It's really messed up. It should not be like that. You know, and they have to fly out. Like, I got to do it from my basement. Other people have to fly out and do their thing. Enter the Capcom Cup? Well, hold up here, champ. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay at the game for, like, literally a brand new person at the game. I don't think I'm that good. You might need, like, a Bird Wyvern gem or something for this. I'm, I'm going to go Pookie Pookie. I can beat Daigo because he's in jail now. No way Daigo's in jail. What are you talking about? He could beat me even if, if he was in jail. He could like psychically channel like Street Fighter powers. It's a million dollars that I would never win. I mean, not at this current point in time. Maybe. Maybe. I, my my assertion is, is if instead of Monster Hunter, I spent my entire adult life playing Street Fighter, I probably would have been pretty good. And all those people that want to come out now and say, oh, no, you wouldn't be? How many tournaments you win, loser? Show me your tournament win list. People were mad I was platinum? I started at the same time everyone else did. I just happened to get the platinum because I'm good at the game. Dude, what they should have been mad at. Here's, here's what's wrong with people. They should have been mad I was platinum. They should have been mad at that one guy that was new challenger. That guy is upsetting. Hey, what are you doing? 
You got you got a team that relying on you. Dude, Focus 2 is so good. How many weeks do they give us to prepare? It was like under a month. I'm trying to think. I'd have to go back. It was it was under a month though. Like you knew here's the thing. I knew about it. I knew about the tournament. So like I downloaded the game and I started playing it. There were people, no joke, didn't even boot the game until like it was time to scream with their coach. I can't even believe that. I would be so mad. I don't I mean, some people are big streamers and like, whatever. $4,000 is nothing to them. But that's still good money to me. Even if it's not good money to you, you can win it and give it away. Right? I haven't played it much since the tournament. I think it's a good game. Should have had Faye coach me? I had Justin Wong coaching me. I'm sure Faye is good, but he's not Justin Wong. He's a great coach. I mean, he's arguably the best coach there. No disrespect to any of the other coaches, but. We absolutely got extremely lucky with our coach pick. I don't really want to... Do I want to ride you? Not really. Do I want to cut your tail? Yes. I mean, he won all of his coach matches, I think? Did he lose one to Quiddy? I can't remember. He wasn't a very nice coach. His advice to me was learn a perfect parry. He's like, it's so hard. Like, do you not got any other secrets for me? I want to know the easy way. So you're just gonna have to perfect parry that. I'm just trying to farm shinies here, by the way. I don't think that hit. I think I just killed that Jaggers for no reason. Kizzy K. He might have lost a set to Kizzy K. But I don't think it mattered. All games you like are six, six seven year experienced players and you learn slower than most. I mean, you don't need to play games, even competitive games to be the best in the world. Just improving yourself is a very satisfying thing. Oh, the head is broken. All right, let's go for the arm, the wings. Was the tournament? We're talking about Street Fighter 6. I mean, Monster Hunter is, like, not bad practice for fighting games, honestly. There are a lot of things that are common. Uh, it was the new Challengers tournament? It's apparently very popular in Japan, but the issue is, is they're running out of people that haven't played the game in Japan. <laughs> so they can't really do the tournament over there as much. I gotta be careful. If he tongues me and then like scatter nuts me, like I could die.
Oh, that feels really bad. Not too low. It must be so late for you. Even though you're on that other coast, you go to sleep so early, I feel like. You know, let's keep going for the... Let's keep going for the other things. Mod Center is like Mike Tyson's punch out. It is definitely not like most normal action games. It's not a button spammy game. Not even, even though people say it like dual blades is not it. Try spamming too much when you're uh, got demon mode up and you'll just die. God damn it, Pookie. <laughs> All right, we broke everything. Now force it to sleep. Uh, well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll trap it when he's ready. I don't think he's ready yet. Oops. That's not good. He might be ready now. It's gonna it's close. I don't wanna forget the tail though. Yo, that Jagras got sent. Ah! I'm not ready for you. Hardcore and ice mod? You mean it would be easier? An easier game. You want me you want me to make it easier for myself? Sounds sweet. Where are you? He goes there? Why are you? What? More balance. No, it's not more balance. <laughs> it's just cheating. Which is fine. That's what you want. Why is he up here? Mod turns world into <laughs> That's funny. Why is he? I have you guys ever seen him up here? What are you doing up here? Why are you up here? I've never seen him up here. I guess I'm not a real fan. Now he doesn't even want to leave. He doesn't live here. He he lives in the northeast camp. I don't want to be a fake Pookie fan. No, you're not allowed to be up here. You know what? Just for that. Where is it? I'm going to play five seconds of this playlist.
<laughs> you just wall bang him anyways. That's what I mean. You got you gotta wait. You gotta you gotta you gotta wait your time. But like I've I've had I have zero issues wall banging, without clutch claw, but without claw stagger. What was that? Don't worry about it. Can I make the weapon? What do I need to make the weapon? Weapons and monster are characters in fighting games? That's an interesting comparison. Fey Wyvern Gem. Mm. Well, we can do the uh, the arena quest. And then we can do... Really, we should we should just do Banbro. Because I want to I want the steamworks to get popping. But we've got it on our list. Let me just see if there's anything else I want to make. Might just make the Bio Tacit right now. We are eventually going to make... Where am I getting my other health boost from? Am I running the whole round with Greatsword? People seem to really like it. Oh, the other task that I had had it. I do want to make the bear off legs. And I replace the eye patch. Cover that head up. We've got pro bald and anti bald people. And try and decide where you put yourself on that list. I'll actually need to go in. Uh, this should be good enough defense for now. Oh, these legs are real bad. <laughs> these legs are like, ooh. Uh, you get the expert plus four deco as soon as you beat Beatotus. They give it to you. I, I mean, I, I, I guess we can make this. Just like, just for now. Well, oh, that's that's looking real sexy right there. <laughs> Balled up top and at the bottom. All right. Siddle, thank you. Thank you everybody for the subscriptions. Very much appreciated. I know I'm not on stream for you to see my face, but I, I promise you I am fully engorged and loving uh, your subscriptions. Thank you. Oh, that looks fine. We're gonna, we have got to go into the expedition and we're gonna go back. Cause we want to get the real rewards. RDC said I had the Street Fighter, Michael Jordan, Mike Horner with Justin Wong. Would that be like the Street Fighter, like the no Monster Hunter, Michael Jordan? The one Miasma Jewel is nice. That means we're going to have full Effluvium Resist for Black Veil, which is, like, kind of huge. Black Veil is, like, Black Veil and Viper Toby Gadachi are the only monsters where it's, like, going to feel like kind of a waste to have poison. Why would he need to see your face if it's exactly like my hunter? Oh, fair point. 
Uh, Carly, we've done content like that on this channel before. We've had, I had another person that was um, kind of organizing a group of uh, Philippines-based streamers. And he organized a uh, cash tournament for them to uh, race in. And I provided coaching to the ones that wanted it. Some of them didn't want of it. One of them I coached. And then she was like, I actually went on YouTube and I just watched the guy that was like five minutes faster than you with Charge Blade. And I got real mad at her. I'm like, he didn't give you any advice. <laughs> the funny thing is like full game speed runs. I think she was watching Moss instead, yeah. Uh, even if it's a full game speed run, there's a lot of streamers, uh, speedrunners that have never done a full game speed run. Like they've done individual time attacks. One of those streamers blew up on GTA RP. And then I think at one point she became a VTuber. Although, I mean, they've all gone, you know, different directions at this point. One of them was really great with Bo, but I think she retired from streaming. Dude, my guy's ripped. Look at that six pack. Yeah, that is me. That's me in real life. Nah, TAs would be lame. Now nah, you'd want to do a full run. And then you could always add different challenges to it and stuff. I once did a hell wheel run. A couple of chaos runs. I did a couple of chaos runs. Tournaments. One of them was so hard, nobody cleared it. So the next day I had to do the same run and then I cleared it. I had to be like, it was possible. They all got like blocked on, I think it was like a master rank behemoth. Arenas are nice because they're literally designed for it. How long was the run? Um, I think it was with cutscene skip and it was in the arena and there was a bunch of other things that really sped it up. So I think it was in like six hours. It was behemoth in the arena, yeah. Which is a challenge. I mean, I had the advantage of going into the run knowing he was going to be there. So it's not 100% fair, but he just built evasion. Apologize to the runners. Uh, I mean, what do you want me to say? Sorry, you couldn't beat it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry you were uh, skill issued by Behemoth. He's a hard fight. At that point, I was like in prime behemoth fighting shape, though. I had been fighting a lot of behemoths. I'm, I'm rusted now. I, I tried to beat him the other day, and I couldn't beat him. I mean, granted, I only did one. They were laughing when I carded a Shar yesterday. That's fine. That's only fair. I don't know where to find this damn guy. Where are you? Are you sitting in the old snow hole again? You know, the nice thing is like, it's getting easier and easier for people to be able to play PC games. All the, like the little deck contraptions and stuff. I mean, you could buy... I mean, the Steam Deck itself is like, what? It's under $400 and it runs world. Way better than base consoles do. Was I able to solo extreme behemoth? Not with high rank gear. And now it's weird because like maximum might is nerfed and weakness exploit is nerfed. So it would be difficult to do the same run again with only high rank gear. But no, I don't think I ever did it. It was real hard. But master rank gear, I can clear it. But I mean, that's like, it's not fair.
A PS5 is going to run it okay. That's not the question. It's the people on base consoles that suffer. I did go a little bougie on my Steam deck. I got the nice version and I got the version I got the official dock. I just I've had issues with like unofficial USB C docks just suck. This is a case where the first tenderize goes like a really long way. The only thing is, is when I tried it, it was a real pain in the ass to get mods running on it. I don't know if that's been fixed. Want a deck type thing that's smaller? I mean, it is kind of big, but it's like, it's not that big. You guys gonna turf war or what? It's relatively safe to waddle into turf war range. Banbro is the part of the Iceborne tutorial where they're like, Feel free to wall bang this guy as much as you want. <laughs> I'm an amazing streamer. You just discovered me and it's the happiest day of your life. Hey. I don't know if you just have very high or very low standards. Will this reach? I don't think this reaches. This guy's just making sure YouTube chat stays high priority. Legs can be okay hit zones as well, especially if you tenderize them. You can understand where that person is coming from? <laughs> really? I mean, it's all right, monster. Ah, oh, is that good? Oh, 
Oh, well, we hit something. What an insanely long knockdown that was. No shiny? I guess I can kind of go for his tail, although I don't think I'm going to make anything of this. Generally speaking, Compost King, I would say the quality of a player is how often they're able to use every part of a kit in some way. They can make a really big difference. Forcing yourself into being a one trick is not good. Oh, come on, man. The tree was right there. It's all right. We'll get KO'd again anyways. Part of the stream each night. Can't remember the last time you're so invested in a Twitch stream. Well, that's nice. Thing. That's a nice thing for you to say. I'll take it. I'm not. I'm not immune to the flattery. You know those like villains or where I was like, oh, flattery will get you nowhere. No, absolutely, man. Play up my ego. Fine by me. Oh, there's a tree. I'm like, why is there a tree running at me? We did not nearly cart to the Pookie. He was on the ropes the whole time. Now, we almost carded Anjanov. Midnight to 9 a.m.? That's late. Ideally, I would start these streams earlier than like 8 to 9 p.m. We would still go late. We would just do like one long night stream. Seven p.m. I can at least start at seven. I've got a lot of viewers that are like, I can't watch. It's too late. Thanks for doing that. Oh, you're welcome. I think it's good content. I think even when we clear the run. I think it's still going to be okay content. How do you know a monster is capturable before they start limping? It's easy in low rank and high rank because they drop two pods. Master rank, it gets weird. I don't know. You won't clear it, don't worry. Putting you on the list. Nope, there's no hiding. I can still see you. Why do I deal just subscribed? <laughs> Why do you deal? Thank you. EU unfriendly streamer? You know what? Maybe the EU was unfriendly to me. You ever think about that? That's German here wants to yeah. the country. Blah, 
It is true. I remember that one of, uh, I, I don't follow him closely at all. But it, it took, like, Tim the Tap Man, like, months before he could ever clear a round in Fall Guys. And that was, like, one of his most popular arcs ever. Like, people just wanted to see the guy win. They were just watching him to watch him lose. But he was awesome. I think he was getting stream sniped. <laughs> this is what I want to get started. The game's still pretty magical, though, Fatalis. There was a guy that spent a year trying to beat Fire Giant in Elden Ring. I can't believe that. There's no way base new game with the ability to grind and get a weapon up to like whatever, plus 15. He was throwing for content. There's no way. He could have been like level 200, like face tanking hits. I mean, the fire giant is like, he's kind of hard. Do you think chat is like, do you think his chat is in on it? Like they know he's throwing? You wouldn't have the stamina? At least you know what you're going to do every day. Please! No! That's the order you push them in? One, two, and three? What's the point of this? I'm trying to get steel. What's the point or what's the point? Why am I doing it or why does it exist? I don't know. I think somebody just is like, the Capcom team, the Monster Hunter team's like, they think of a weird stuff. They're like, all right, let's do it. There's no way I miss this twice in a row. No! <laughs> Dude, I have such bad luck this time. Silver melding ticket. Let's go, baby. Please give me bonus time. Just this once. Please, old man. Please, I have a family. No! Alright. Well. Failing that would have counted as a car. <laughs> This is not nearly as good as my first run up. This is like real bad. I mean, handicraft is okay. These are both okay. Speed eating is okay. Okay. All right. Well, we got some things. Oh, did you subscribe? Thank you for subscribing. I appreciate that. 
Uh, I think we could also meld, like, health up? Tremor resist is good for Shara. We will be using it. Best early game spread heavy bogan for Zenogre. Uh, I have no idea how it scales, but I know Great Jagras is okay. I don't know about anything else, but it's all right. Glutton, you make the guy farm cold Taroth for a weapon that's going to get outclassed? Oh, we did get... Oh. That was actually really interesting. Um... I guess this one? You want to be toxic so chat didn't think I was a paid actor. Don't do that. <laughs> you got nothing to prove to them. They're all here watching me too. You're all sitting Pepe staring at me. you be watching the vast quantities of pornography that occupy the internet, and instead you're you're here. I mean, nothing saying that you're not doing them both at the same time. Finished 12 hour shift, worked out in the gym, can't stop watching the stream? Damn, dude. I've never had a 12 hour shift. It was always like eight hours or like a double, so 16 hours. I feel like this is going to give us a pretty good chance of getting a Fey Wyvern gem. I don't know. Can we do better on the Greatsword? Ever fight in World Iceborne? Probably Nergigante. Almost forgot we could have these both on right now. Mm. Five hour shifts sound a lot more reasonable. You know, this, the oolong hair. Wait, what does this even look like? <laughs> I, <laughs> I think we got to use it. My God. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, I'm like, you know what? I'm like Yang from Final Fantasy. Uh, what was it? Final Fantasy four. I love that guy. He can do like the little kick on everyone? I love that. What else was he good at? All I remember is his kick. Did he ever get anything else? It was pretty much just kick. I mean, he could obviously he just hit them, and he was, like, pretty good at that. Now we're going to get knocked off. It's 
Okay. Alright, let's not get too cocky. I just want to get... I hate that he was temporary. I'm sure there are mods out there that, like, let you... Oh, my God. We're gonna we're gonna stop playing around right now. That was real bad. There we go. All right, we got it. This is the Pookie that cards me. I'm gonna put you on the list for that Blazor. Don't think you're immune. Because you're a moderator and one of my longest sub subscribed channels on Twitch. It's like Jorbs, Kanta, Moon Moon. Who else? Can I please wear a layered helmet? Why would I ever want to do that? He's really not doing a lot of damage. You really think he would do more damage, but he's really not doing a lot. Tips for fighting Lavinus, first time fighting him? Uh, well, on that map, you can draw, drag him to the sand pit, shoot the bird. He'll fall in the sand pit. He'll take 10% of his health. And then he'll get in a turf war with Diablos. And he'll take another 10% of his health. That'll help a lot. As for actually fighting him? Get used to how he like moves his tail. If he attacks from the right, he usually attacks to the left next. Brain crap everywhere. If you read the title, we've got a command up there. Overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Farming on Pookie? I think I'm gonna make his greatsword. I kind of like it. What's more fun for acrobatics, greatsword or hammer? Hammer, you spin at like the speed of sound through the air. I might actually make the Rathian pieces for it, as crazy as that sounds. Do double poison.
Rathian Greatsword goes to 12? Probably. I mean, we're not going to be fighting Gold Rathian, though. I'm uh, pretty sure Charge Up Tackle does more KO, yeah. Give me your tail! Yeah, I'm not gonna grind up MR70. Like, that's not happening. I think little bro is ready. Am I using Greatsword through Master Rank? I think I'm going to. I think it's a lot of fun to watch. Navaratu, time yourself out for five minutes, or I'll time you up for longer. You were wrong. Does it, is Singlet not in this game? Oh, I guess not then. kind of weird. I feel like it's in every game except for this one. I like how Kulu is like, just like <laughs> running around the whole map. It's in the Switch one? Well, like everything's in the Switch one. If there's one good thing about GU is it gives you a wide variety of options. Where, where are you going? Are you really up here? This is like magic. He found an egg. Sorry about the egg. And he really wanted to get that rock. There is a series of events that allows us to die right now on this death flag to Kulu. Uh, you gotta watch the clip if you wanna see how I, how I died and why I died. <laughs> I was gonna mount him. No, come back. Dude, he just knocked over that great Jagras. Do you see that? He's like, he's toppled over on the ground right now. And now the Jagras is pissed. He screwed up my mount. There we go.
Twitch is freezing? Watch on YouTube. And if YouTube is freezing, watch on Twitch. I will say one thing I appreciate on Greatsword is having the longer clutch claw length. That sucks. It's fine. We're back in master rank already. I'm gonna item up. Challenge man? Oh, he died once. It was Shara. It was really unfortunate. There's a there's a command for it if you want to see it. Some bad luck, and I, I could have played a little bit more carefully. You didn't know the sand pits did that much? Oh, I was I was definitely worried about it. Right, give me that gem, man. This is a good quest for it. You're watching me on both platforms? <laughs> How many people are dual boxing right now? I mean, I could have... I mean, the spacing on that attack was like perfect. That he did to me. I could have ran forward instead. I just didn't know there was like another sand pit. We got two Fey Wyvern gems. Oh, that's so good. Isn't a perfect speedrun also deathless? In speedruns, there's a lot of times a way to speed time by um, using death warps. You can't watch on Twitch because it perma buffers. YouTube, you watch 1440p, no problem. Isn't that crazy? We need one more wing. Uh, we can just break the wing and then leave, right? So I'm going to do that. We're going to break the wing and then we're going to leave. Do we have to break both of them or just one of them? No, I, I got him in the, um, I got him in the arena. Twitch was sucking, so now you're here. Twitch has been real bad and now they're laying people off. So like, it could get worse. The thing is, is like, I had full stun resistance. We had Meyer Walker. I mean, it's less, it doesn't have the comedic appeal that a Cantor's death had, but it does have like a damn that sucks sort of appeal. I mean, they're doing things that I like, like their changes to the encoding stuff might actually be way better. Pookie Shinies can drop wings too. That's good. I'm going to drop the rock on him, and I'm going to true charge his wing. I mean, they almost were okay with the sex stuff. I just want the rules to be clear and fairly applied. That's my thing. Oh, you're going to be a booby site. Just be like, be a booby site. You know what I mean? Don't half-ass it. Is that it? Do I gotta break the other one too? There's a shiny there too, right? That one looks broken. That one needs to be. Oh, we got it! I think we're gonna do great sword, man. What do you think? I'm gonna do great sword the whole way. I don't care that I have four gems because I only need one. 
Vayamos al arroyo de Escarcha para intentar encontrar el rastro de los Legiana. I think any platform where you can register as 13 years old and see women asking you, or men, asking you for money, uh, they should be separate. You know what I mean? That's it. I don't, I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not a prude. Like, definitely allow, allow, uh, have a website for that. You're worried how it plays in some sites? Eh. It's fine. It's a fine weapon. A gobbler. My attack. Attack can go here. I want to do trading focused greatsword? Well, I don't know that I'll be doing too, too much trading focused greatsword. <laughs> I'm not planning on doing a lot of trades. Voted for dual blades? It's just like Kanthus doing dual blades. You know what I mean? So. We'll, we'll do Greatsword. Best Greatsword before Valkana. In most situations, it's probably going to be Great Jagras. Well, I guess tactically, if you've got perfect everything, Acidic Glavinus is pretty good. Bow would be cool one next. Probably not. I think the most profitable for Twitch is leaving the booby stuff in a weird, plausibly deniable limbo. Where they can be like, well, we're not a booby website. But you know, when you get like people donating like hundreds of subs a stream, no, that's significant revenue for the website. And then you've got other streamers that are like, I'll be right back. And like they run ads to like a thousand people for eight hours. Like that's, that's significant to the Twitch bottom line. Why is my greatsword only 200 damage? I'm using a mod that shows the real value rather than like the bloated value. Bow is amazing early game. Toby bow for like low rank and high rank slaps so hard. It clears everything. It doesn't even have to be a lot like a large stream either. I mean, you could have, you know, a, a streamer that's streaming to only like 20 to 30 people. And you've got a person in there that's like donating hundreds of subs and bits. Did you miss me slapping in the Venom Coat deco? That's not going to do anything for this weapon. Oh, although I did miss um, Venom Plus. Although I don't think it's going to really matter on Viper Toby Kadachi. I think it only takes the, the meaning of real values. So when we look at a damage number on the status screen in Monster Hunter World, depending on the type of weapon it is, its number will be multiplied by a certain arbitrary amount. So in Great Sword's case... This weapon would normally show 800, 960, bro. But that's only because the 200 is multiplied by 4.8. Yeah, the, the as soon as we clear. Uh, Viper Toby Kadachi, Coral Pookie Pookie gets decimated by poison. He's like mega weak to it. Hmm. Por allí de momento. Why is he bald? He's got hair. What are you talking about? He's got so much hair. He's probably got more hair on his head by weight than you do, mortal Mordo. How dare you? I'm not going to farm Poison Res for uh, Viper. Do I speak Spanish? Am I trying to learn it? I'm just a big fan of many of the Spanish-speaking countries. I'm Latina Boo. Any Latin American chatters in uh, Twitch or YouTube? 
You like Spain? Spain's all right, but it's not Latin. It's no Latin America. But from Argentina? Argentina's pretty based. Mortal Mardo from Brazil? Hell yeah, brother. Although, Brazil is, is, is Portuguese, right? You should go to Brazil? I should go to Brazil. I want to organize uh, a, a tour of King of Fighter. Here, here's my plan for Latin America. I go to Latin America. The tournament starts. We don't even play video games. We're watching a Dragon Ball Z movie. Then we do King of Fighter uh, pools, followed by Monster Hunter pools, followed by King of Fighter uh, final tournament, followed by Monster Hunter final tournament, and then we end it with another Dragon Ball Z movie. I think that'd be pretty dope. I think we got speed eating one. I think it'd be a great time. People would be like so into that. Which King of Fighters? <sighs> well, Rugal's banned either way. Two K? Two thousand two, ninety eight or two thousand two. I just find Latin American viewers uh, bring a really great vibe to the stream. Appreciate them. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I needed. Ever play Dragon Ball Breakers again? When they add crossplay back in, I would play it. We good? What's that? We got it. Oh, you know what? I was going to fight Baroth next. That's fine. We'll clear this guy and then we'll fight Baroth. I, I think the handler is uh, much easier to listen to in Spanish. Is poison good on Greatsword? When you've got 60, that's enough for it to matter. You'll poison things. You say that because I don't understand her. I just say I like the sound of her voice. Why not fight it directly after the cutscene? You miss out on rewards. And I don't know that there's anything from Viper Toby Kodachi that I want. But even if it's just like the tough bones, like you can't get those by fighting him normally in that expedition. You got to fight him here. I get that question a lot, so it's not an odd question. It, it, it seems weird. Like, what are you doing? Like, you're just wasting time. But if I if I need those tough bones for something, then like I, I gotta fight something else. It's way faster just to go back. Where's our little guy? Lost track of the monster. Did he leave? Who left? I'm I'm pro Ja Ja Ja. I've never heard of the other one before. That's got some slightly negative connotations in the United States. Yeah, and basically every expedition, it's it's hard to get the bones unless you do the real one. It's for Brazilian? I've never seen it. Julian Carter, when are you going to finish uh, World of Warcraft so we can Dark Tide again? That was a lot of fun. I want to do level 5 missions with you. We 
we go for the head? Oh, he's eating. Oh, this is perfect. He's got to drop his meat. Oh, less perfect. All right, this works. This works. Hey, we still live on YouTube? Twitch is dying, man. Really should not greed that. I like the switchblade type design of this weapon. Hey, Abzo, thank you. That is a very cute little guy. <laughs> Dancing on my screen right now. It looks like he's actually taking more poison than I thought he would. He's reached. Oh, should have done the jumping wide slash. Better for low rank, high rank, heavy bow gun or light bow gun? Uh, well, heavy bow gun is very good in low rank. Although you will probably die against the elders unless you've done a little bit of grinding. I should switch my cat to his sleep weapon. Want to say neither? I mean, it wasn't a mean question. I don't think it was. into it, but I got my head off. That's all that matters. Yeah, we'll switch over once he leaves the zone. Oh, actually, hold up. Hold on. I got a plan. No! My plan is ruined. What is going on here? Stop! Ah! It's actually, it's not that bad. Like I want it, I want to get him into the, uh, Whatever you call his face. I want to get him into the Fulger. There's a turf war. No, he left? How much for that? And I make him a big attack. It's a lot of time to set it up. I thought he was running.
it's the safer option to wake up with the TCS, but it's a lot of times like the slower option. Toby, stop being weird. I'm not doing a speed run? You're not enraged yet? Oh, that's great news. Banbro shows up down here too. <laughs> Toby's got no chill, man. Whenever you pull that off. But like, it's like balanced though. Well, uh, Ledge Dancing got me mega nerfed going into Iceborne. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you feel about it. I mean, the thing is, it's like, it wasn't even nerfed for all of the weapons. It's only nerfed for some of the weapons. Mostly greatsword. Oh, you need the fish scales? We'll get them anyways. Cause like, why not? I guess airborne probably does kind of bring it back to its pre nerfed values, right? Gunlance did not get a nerf. Hammer, I don't believe, got a nerf. He's dancing. <laughs> how did you go in there? I like how he's telling me now. Yes, I know how to wallbang monsters. The old team leader. Should have only gone for the one. God, he's almost done. He's so close.
This feels like faster than Insect Glaive. And we're using like poison. Why is he tired for so long? Bro, I can't tell you, man. I don't remember ever fighting Viper Toby this much where he was like that uh, exhausted, like the whole fight. Well, I mean, I was tackling him. I don't know, man. I mean, check him out. Look at his values. Maybe he does have like low stamina. That's okay. Crisis Expert is okay. It was the poison? I don't think this poison? Does poison reduce stamina? I used to think it should, but I don't know if it actually does. Isn't that weird? Wouldn't that be weird if poison was actually good on Viper Toby Gadachi because poison like made him exhausted? What a weird interaction that would be. Thank you again. What is... I don't know what that currency is. What is an SAR? But thank you. Can we see... Raffian parts? How's it going? It's going okay. I gotta show you guys... Uh, a two-minute... Sponsored bit on Totino's Pizza Rolls. But... I wanna look at this stuff first. <laughs> Saudi monies? Hell yeah. Raffian is not up yet. She will be. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, sh I gotta show you guys the, the pizza rolls. I gotta do it. It's only two minutes. It's, it's got, it's Pete Davidson? Pizza the roll. I'm assuming that's why he was chosen. Pizza roll time. Well, what do we have here? Ordering pizza for game day, are you, Jennings? Amateur move. That's a shame. It's not. I'm smiling. Look at that idiot eating his flat pizza. Classic Jennings. When will you learn to eat like a grown-up? See? How hard was that, huh, Jennings? Do game day my way for Totino's Pizza Rolls. I remember being at one PAX and like everything at the PAX was bad, except also at the PAX was like a pizza roll booth. And I, I spent zero money on food because they just kept giving me pizza rolls like the entire time. You just walk up anytime you want. They'd give you like four or five pizza rolls at a time. It was great. My mom's always hiding the remote. Ah, now this is how you game day. They were air frying them too. There's Totino's in there, huh? That's not supposed to do that, but it does. All right, next. Huh? Watch out, that's the hot seat. <laughs> oh yeah, who wants what? It what? Do game day my way with Totino's pizza rolls. You want an epic snackable? Someone left this on the curb? Best bang for your buck way to have pizza on game day? Pizza rolls. Get that flat pizza out of here. Totino's pizza rolls. Please enjoy them. Thank you, Totino's. Thank you again for sponsoring that one PAX East I was at. I enjoyed your pizza rolls. You got to There's a there's a technique. You got to blow on them. You got to blow on the rolls. Otherwise, you 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 got to be careful. You don't want to bite right in. All right, that's it. We did we did it. That's the sponsorship. Only took two minutes. It wasn't that bad. I feel like there's a lot less people in the just chatting category lately. Is that true? Is that category dying? 
Are all the people just in GTA RP? I guess it's a possibility. Can I fight Raffian now? I should be able to. No, uh, axe hammers do not do cutting damage. I mean, if you've got an air fryer, it's... Hmm. All right, we got some choices here. We do want to get this. I think we're going to get this first. Bear off legs? We don't, we, we need those before, um, bury off, but we don't need them yet. Dude, people are still playing. Moon Moon's in the RP. <laughs> save, somebody save Moon Moon. What does the G and G rank stand for? It has been clarified. Riozo says it can stand for anything that you want it to. Good, great, goo, goon. <laughs> Gura, you're a weirdo VTuber. Not throwing shade at Gura, just saying. Oh, I'm glad we ate. How do they decide that in the first place? I, in in Japan, a lot of times they just name things because it sounds cool, which is honestly a pretty goaded way to do things. This is really funny. That's it, we're done. <laughs> That's it. We did it. I'm thinking about whether I want to get two piece Raffian. I think I kind of do. Is that weird? No, for the double, for the extra poison time on my poison greatsword. I don't think it's going to take that long to do. I mean, it's Raffian. What's some things you consider whether you take a fight or not? Well, I mean, some of them are required. Why would it be weird? Because you would not normally consider using status on a greatsword. Oh, I could put this in here. Snarky Cougar, purple sharpness, great sword, worth it? It's not bad. Purple is not as much of a big of a boost as white is. Seven percent more damage over yellow. Five percent if you're comparing it to white. I'm going to do it anyways. Uh, certain fights you may not bother with because the fight is too risky. There is nothing as risky as who we're going towards, which is Shara Ejvaldo. Not Shara. Uh, Fatalis. Fatalis is the scariest thing in the game. A big Raffian? Seems mildly large. I have no idea what I need. I know I want this though. Yo, almost.
How do you farm easy trank bombs to capture every time? Uh, wild spire waste. Or if you have the steam works up, I mean, they're just pretty much always up. Steamworks will give you tranks. I'm pretty sure I need Sir Spikes or something. I honestly don't know what I need. But I'm gonna I'm gonna cut the tail anyways, because I think for the upgrade I know I need Sir Spikes on this weapon. Oh, lucky. See this, hello. What makes you decide if I want to go for a mount or not? I usually mount when they're enraged. Because if they're not enraged, then I can do a wall bang. You know, if it's a monster that's flying and I want them to land, I want to save my mounts for that. Although Rathian's pretty good about not staying in the air. But like, watch me when I fight Nightshade. Offensive guard is okay, but like, I don't love it. That's Surrey. actually go get another pod and they put so many pods in the ancient forest they wanted people just to be shooting stuff everywhere I don't know if I need the wings no idea I don't even know what parts I want to make. <laughs> I just know I kind of want to make two-piece uh, Rathian. So now she's been tenderized. She's enraged. This is a good time to get him out. Especially because of that wing. We're pretty sure we want to break that wing. Ah! My mount!
Wow. <laughs> Why am I? What? Why am I getting that tutorial now? He thinks I'm a noob? But I've used the clutch claws so much! What determines whether you get the mount finisher or not? Uh, it's got something to do with how the monster flinches. So... You gotta get them down to like the lowest level of flinching without going over or them getting stuck in another animation. It's like really finicky. It's probably the most finicky thing about the game if I had to, if I had to pick one thing. Other than maybe like the clutch claw sometimes putting you into something that you don't want to be on. Yeah, sometimes the game freaks out and you can get multiple finishers. Definitely. Yeah, it's it's all sorts of jank. That that one part of the game is, is, is in a w weird place for sure. Actually, I don't even know if her head is technically broken. Is her head broken? Has to be, right? No, it's definitely broken. We'll hit the back in case we can get a back break. It's kind of fun fighting Rathian in Master Rank. How often do you do this? No flinch, huh? I feel like I'm seeing Banbro invading a lot more now than I'm used to seeing him invade. I guess we'll keep going for... I kind of want to break one of these wings. Damn it. Oh, we got it anyways, hey. All according to plan. She's eating. <laughs> God damn it. Follow. Oh, you're up! You're either up early or I'm up really late. What is it? 2.30 a.m. for me? That's not too bad.
We're going for the rare poison duration up great sword build. How's it going? It's going okay. I don't think it's good, but I think it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. We got a poison up deco. That because your PS4 broke? Perfect time to upgrade to a Steam Deck. is like the great sword this great sword will do decent enough raw damage that the poison's really just a bonus but on the monsters that are weak to poison and there's a decent number of them it'll actually do okay even the monsters that are just like standard amounts of weak to poison depending on the matchup it might be kind of nice Char is insanely weak to poison. Don't run. Please. I mean, it'll be good on Raging Bracky anyways. Or oh, on normal Bracky. Happened in the previous run? Check the title for commands if you want to see. I mean, we're at 67 element, and that's going to get up even higher, so. It's going to hit like 80 poison? 80 ish poison? And we could still eat for specialist, I think. It looks like we got a lot of parts. We got all the sur spikes we needed. Guardian expert. Hey, Setsuri, look what I got. <laughs> the rare offensive guard greatsword. It is rare. You get a Raffian investigation. Bro. <laughs> Bro? Excuse me? Well, if we need another Raffian, we're going to be all set. So I was thinking this. The helm and then the tacit could work. I like my arms, but we could use the tacit. And I can make them both right now. Might actually run this. The betas on both because we could we can meld for um, health up. I'm glad we got for the wings. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> we lose the hair, though. We get a feather. That's something. The chick with the ponytail? She's dead, dude. She's dead. She's gone.
Don't even need a roll. Don't even have to do that many of them. They're worth so much, though. I guess we'll do Coral Pookie to start. All right, let's see what we want. Man, I hope we get another uh, a normal Venom Deco. That would be really nice. Oh, you know what we kind of want? We kind of want those bear off legs. I guess until we find a Steadfast Deco, they don't do anything, though. So 73 poison. I mean, it's not bad. You know what, though? Bear off is weak to poison. God, we should just really make them. They've got really slots, too. We're going to have to make them eventually anyways. Well, you know what? We'll wait for our next upgrade. Well, do we want them before or after bear off? Bury off? Oh, when is the Hades too early access? I know Asmongold, Yuki Hira. I don't know anyone else. I'm assuming that's like um copy pasta. Fortify is the most useless skill? Dude, it's so good. Fortify is amazing. What are you talking about? Twenty percent attack boost? For a level one deco? Thirty percent defense boost? I mean we can't use it here, but You have to faint, it means decreased rewards? It's only like reduced money. Your normal rewards are still there. Does tackle count as a guard skill? Nope. Oh, bro's already poisoned. Feels bad. I mean, and like, if you're looking for the rewards for your, your rewards, and you're not like hoovering up the million of shinies off the ground, like, I don't know. Almost got the tail. I'll take it.
Oh, I love this move. Oh, this is my favorite move. Why are you dropping pods already? Ah, oh, I should have left him in the same position. Man, it's not a speed run, it's a challenge run. I've got a couple, um, it's not a race. Um, I got a couple, what is it? Energy drinks? I've got three. I think that's enough. Like I'm gonna get put to sleep more than three times. There are nitro shrooms in that area as well. Uh -huh. So just to explain what just happened, Coral Pookie is like one of the most poison weak monsters in the game. And we doubled the amount of poison he had on him and it was up the entire time, so. It goes pretty hard. I'm having fun playing Greatsword? Oh, I love Greatsword. I always say I don't have a favorite weapon, but if there's if there's a weapon that's like very near and dear to my heart, it's probably this one. How come some claw staggers won't let me turn the monster and fail to push forward a monster in wall bangs? Is it because of exhausted or something else? Uh, if they are enraged, you cannot spin them. And it is sometimes, the icon is sometimes misleading as to whether or not they're enraged. So it's not, that's not a you problem. That is a little bit of a game problem. The, uh, our little trap guy is getting better. Or song guy is getting better. Maybe I could put one of his things up here. The bongo? Yeah, if they're enraged, you cannot flinch shot them. Or 
I don't know what it, I don't know what the official ner word is for claw turning them. I'm sure there's a word for it or a phrase for it, but I, I don't know what that is. You can't do that either. No, nope, not flinch shot. When you spin them, that's got a name. Claw correction? Claw? Is it just, is it literally just claw hit? <laughs> that's kind of lame, right? That's a little lame. Lame if true. Claw attack. Whatever it is. Did he do it? Why'd you stop? For the negate stun from me. You know, him being on the coral thing does make me a little less nervous about stuns. I did 300 damage on the tail. That's not bad. Oh, there was a small chance we could hit something there. Keeping that poison up a lot. Poison's up like the whole time. What are you doing? Goblin hours? We've been up pretty late for a long time now, man. I I got what is probably the long-term bovid and it gives me insomnia. And I just feel comfortable streaming at night rather than trying to sleep. And then I try to sleep at <laughs> during the day. Sometimes I do. I'm worried to try and exhaust myself to sleep because somebody the other day was saying you got to be careful 
about making it worse by doing too much too soon. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it easy. Uh, I do have a doctor's appointment. I am also in the United States of America, and they're not going to see me until February 1st. So we still have a month to go, boys. I mean, he's, he's, I mean, he is done and dusted, man. You're done. You're washed. It's over. No, please! Don't leave! My trap! Dude, I, I this is going like pretty well. Well, how am I getting so many stuns? What, at the end there? These things. Those combos are really good. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, dude. The goal is to capture Zora Magdaros. Good luck, man. Yay! We can max out our Venom attack now. Has hecho un buen trabajo. I did want it. It's true, I did want it. Noxel is right. He ain't lying. We got a crisis expert. So we can drop this. Oh, is Gobbler not in anything? Well, we definitely want Gobbler. See me do that little nudge attack? What are those? You must be the, the tackle? Me alegro de que hayas vuelto. Tienes un momento? Tackle's pretty good. Let's um let's run the steamworks again. And let's upgrade some of our armor. KOs. Yeah, you can get them by tackling. Tackling does KO damage. Tackling, in theory, also does exhaust damage. A level three tackle into a jumping wide slash is okay damage. It's not amazing, but it's like, it's all right. 
Oh, now we got the good luck. Bonus time. Please, bonus time. Please. Screw this game, man. The elbow nudge is the tackle. I don't know what else it could possibly be. Bonus time! Please! Yes! It's not lucky, man. It's... I missed every bonus time. I don't want to do the Monty Hall math on that because it gets complicated, but... Shouldn't be like that. <laughs> do it. I used to be really good at it. I don't think I'm very good at it anymore. But I used I used to know what I was talking about. We're definitely sticking with the Wrathy in essence. The, the only way this is bad is against um Balhazak. Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna stick around. This arm is gonna stick around for a while, probably. Poison greatsword doesn't feel right without Camellia's greatsword. That's a good weapon. But I mean, I don't know. I, f I feel like the I like the way the Pookie thing looks. Just don't get cocky. You'll be fine. Oh, Meld. Meld, 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 Meld. It's actually not that good, but it is cute that we got it. I like, I'm more excited about Stone Thrower in a way. If I can fit it somewhere, but I, I don't think I can. I mean, instead of flight, probably better. Like, I'd, I'd literally rather have stone thrower. Weird as that. I know that seems really weird, but that's what we're going with. <laughs> I like you can see his bald head whenever he eats. I kind of got to pee a little bit. I'm going to pee before I do this quest. I'll see you guys. Ugh.
No, and I'm back. Uh, just getting comfortable. All right. All right, Barry off. Let's see what you do here. Do I want bombs? I don't know what sort of boa boas we're going to get. Deathless, the current point is impressive. We got to show our last time. And then we died. <laughs> but we got that far. Man, I love having that one point of speed eating. Hardest part is just like. Getting this dude's arms tenderized. Once you can do that, no problem. Wait, hold on. No, let me down. Wait, no, I wanted to. Eat. I want to eat. I want to eat. No! Objetivo encontrado. Acepta la torre para proceder sin peligro. All right, we got one. Perfect. Now for the second one. We got the second one. Now get him in the hole. The hole is important. We're gonna, we're, you're going to take a couple hits on the way, but it's... Trust, it's worth it. It's not where we want to be. Come on. God, he's really taunting, too. Oh, he's making fun of me. He's, like, laughing at me. Maybe even a flash would be all right. Oh, I can't even make them. Got it. All right, perfect. This should break it in one. Okay, it's one. This will break the other one. All right, we're done. Should be way more manageable now. Not over here, please. <laughs> you screwed it up. You hecked it up, Barry. Off. It's like he knew how to how to juke me, man. He's tainted it again.
We could probably go for another mount. You exhausted? I swear, did they add a secret exhaustion mechanic to poison in this game that I am not aware of? I used to always say, like, make poison to exhaust. Is it doing exhaust? Is it from... I, I only did a couple tackles. No, I do not have an exhaust skill. Better than nothing. You know, I still want to get those wet fish scales. Uh, I mean, he's using the Radabon weapon, but I, I'm sure it does some exhaust, maybe? Can't do that much. Yeah, I am going to take him up here. I'm bringing him back to my friends, the Boa Boas. Oh, hello. He's really going. You're really going for it, huh? Okay, now I'm being punished. Time for a negate stun drum beat. Don't mind if you do. Oh, bow bows go nuts. I've got slugger on the legs that increases the KO damage. I don't think it increases the stun uh, stamina damage. Stop it. You're not enraged anymore. Why am I on your arm? No, nah, I don't think exhaust is a, a, a thing that they have. I don't know. Maybe it is. Damage reduced. Kind of in love with this Divine Protection 3 charm. It was actually really easy to make. Like, I gotta really think about it in, in new runs. I just want to keep getting them with those Boa Boas. Damage taken was reduced. Yeah, Dark Knight's a fun game. Definitely. No idea what he's doing. Wow, super rude. What the hell? All my nullberries. Did I eat them all? Oh, 
Oh, we are so fine right now. That's not me being cocky, but like we're we're okay. I mean, his arms are broken. Mathematically speaking, Divine Blessing, pretty likely to help. At least in a longer combo, yeah. It's been 10 minutes already. being a dick. Ow! Let me get my mount. I'm gonna get you Boa Boa it again. You'll see. Very off. Uh, it's Gold Rapian that gives Divine Blessing five. You dummy! You dumbass! Yo, he took so much damage in that down? Feels bad that TCS only did 95 damage. He's poisoned again. That is annoying. He's gonna limp soon. Oh, he's already ready for capture. He's done. He's toasted. Don't stop. Well, a little rough, but, uh, you know, we, we pulled it back. And the early wing breaks were good. There were other parts that were not good, but the, the early wing breaks were good. I think we got, like, four poisons there? Probably, like, 2,000 damage. That's it. Hurry. Uh, I could probably do some of the, like, the farm stuff, like, as in, like, the growthing farm stuff. I should probably do some of those things. I think we could upgrade our weapon now. 
Which is kind of insane. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to upgrade blue mushrooms and... The bugs? Maybe the second slot? It's low rank Raffian that does that. That's if I want the max potion IV drip. Which, you know, in theory I should. Oh, yeah. Dude, we're so close to it. Dude, and it's got, like, the purple is, like, right there, too. So, like, that's 40 more raw? Damn, man. Compare that to, like, the Chrome Death Scythe. It's just better. It's just straight up better. It's unreal how good that is. For just, like, going a little bit out of our way. It upgrades so early. Jiro's Greatsword isn't bad either. I mean, I guess the sharpness is kind of bad. Uh, so whenever there's an unfilled bar, you got to use Handicraft to fill it up. Nah, the trap materials aren't an issue. We get plenty of those just like doing our normal thing. What is a slog bone? Why don't you come up here and find out? It's a bone that slogs, obviously. Right, without handicraft, I get no purple. But if I have even... You know, if I had two or three points of handicraft, that would be more than enough purple for most fights. It's not a huge benefit, you know, I mean, remember, purple, sharpness doesn't affect your status. And then it's only like 7% more raw, which, I mean, it's an okay amount, but, you know, if I tenderize one thing, it's like the first thing of handicraft is gone. Seven percent is a lot for three points of handicraft. Mm. Right, it's not much. Purple is absolutely for like raw weapons. It's like pretty optional until you start getting to the very late stuff. If I had three hundred base raw. All right, I mean, yeah, you're looking at something. I mean, it's almost as good as... I guess it would be more value than Agitator in some cases. But seven points into attack would be better than three points of Handicraft. How far are we? We are at the... Uh, harder, but not subspecies part of Master Rank. So it's Nargakuga, Glavinus, Tigrix, Brachy. And then I think it goes Velcana Repel to Shrieking Legiana to Fulgur. And then it's the subspecies turn. After Fulgur, it's Ebony, and then it's Acidic. And then after Acidic, it's Velcana, and then it's Elder Dragon Time. Well, Seething, and then Elder Dragon Time. What even bounces at white? Not much bounces at white. Namiel is just before you have to fight. Um, Shara. Acidic Glavis is tail unsharpened. You probably bounce, but I mean, who cares? What if you exceed the time limit? Does that reset the run? 
Like, if I take more than 50 minutes to clear a quest? Technically, I didn't die. Uh. I don't think anyone would count that as losing. But, I mean, if you wanted to, you could. <laughs> I mean, Mind's Eye on blue sharpness, but, like, heavy, heavy raw weapons can be okay. I think Royal Relocation gives us another slot. So we might do that. My plan for Latrion? Frostfang Greatsword. Can handle that easily. If I had to if I had to farm the ice one, I would probably just not. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I could farm up something, but I could also just, like, not do anything. Just wait. Wait for it to flip. So, I, I guess the question is, is what if I get to Fatalis? Don't cart, but time out? I think I would allow myself a redo on that one. But, I mean, it's way more likely that I kill him or he kills me than that, so. I am multi. Poison builds trembling in fear of the timer? Little bro didn't see the Coral Pookie Pookie run, man. That guy died in, like, five minutes. Depends on the monster. I mean, it's not going to help us at all with, um... Black Veil Valhazak, definitely, but. Well, Fatalis is like, what, 30 minutes? It'll be great on Shara, definitely. 35 minutes. Youth foes alone. Well, I guess we're getting the tail. Uh, poison was just kind of like a nice thing to have with your gold Rathian weapons. But there's definitely a lot of monsters that were undervalued with poison. The issue is, is like it doesn't scale super well in multiplayer. How long did the Fatalis fight take? Ideally less than 30 minutes, 35 minutes. The thing is, is you get like 24,000 damage from free from the Wyvern Razor alone, more or less, or the Roaming Ballista. And then, is it like another 6,000 damage from the Dragonator? He almost half his life in, like, the siege stuff. Uh, I mean, I, I don't know if this game, you can keep adding poison while a monster is poisoned, but there's definitely some games where that matters. Uh. It was the little old man that gave me that. What do we get? What was it? I mean, you can use... I mean, Roaming Ballista goes up to... 
uh, three times. If you, as long as you get it through phase one fast enough. This is the one that we want. This is a big one. You got Xeno Gems, you can make Handicraft Charm 3. I'd rather have Divine Blessing. After our previous run, I don't mind if we're going a little bit slower, if I'm a lot less likely to die. What weapon I'm going to use against Alatra and Greatsword? I'm going to use Greatsword the whole way. I'm reclaiming this as a full Greatsword run. Ignore everything up until Anjana. Safi Greatsword, I will use Frostfang. I forget if Beatotis gets a Greatsword. His Greatsword would probably be fine as well, but Frostfang should be perfect. Symphonia, Pookie Greatsword's doing a lot of work. Pookie Greatsword's so good. Honestly, even the Frostfang Greatsword against Alatrion, like, is, uh, Fatalis is, like, not a terrible choice. I know what will make you happy, Symphonia. Well, you could probably already see it. We got Poison Duration up as well. Yeah, I mean, it's it's reasonable to make the Beatotis Greatsword. I mean, you could even use the Beatotis Greatsword against uh, Shara for, like, the first two phases and then bring out your poison for the final phase to burst it down. I mean, do Rajang? There's no reason to do Rajang, really. Farm Alachian Revolution for Fatalis? It, it depends on how the timing lines up. What, what are the stats on the fish great sword? <laughs> the sword fish great sword. Roger and great sword's fine. I will likely use either frost fang or uh, a latrion great sword on fatalis. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Bayo Slasher 2. And then what is Frost? I mean, Frostfang has got to be better. 270, 630? Ooh, it's just an upgrade, man. It's got like a little, little bit of purple. Doesn't need a lot. Yeah, 63 ice, 270 raw. I mean, really, you could use that against Alatrion. What's the Alatrion greatsword look like? I bet it's not bad. Two eighty raw, eight ten dragon, tons of purple. You'd probably get over a hundred, a hundred dragon, if you actually ran dragon attack six. It's a shame the Alatrion armor skill would be like kind of lame on the greatsword. It gives like one point of element for every fifteen points of resistance. Well, we'll we'll be able to get some decent slots. There there are ways to get some slots. Well, I don't I don't know about doing two piece Falcana. 
I want I want as much fire resist as I can get. Have I used f f wide range free mail and speed dating support sets in multiplayer? I usually support people in quests by killing the monster. Touch the thought of. Let me add it. I have certain DLC is a must have. Uh, I mean, if you already just own base world and you don't own Iceborne yet, you can try just playing base world and seeing if you like the game first. If you like the game, absolutely get Iceborne. Uh, I'm not routing for any guiding lands. What mod do I use to skip cutscenes? The mod that says cutscene skip. Well, we're cursed now. Root is cursed. Craig's got us. I wonder if we'll have anything like that in Wilds, man. I really hope so. Oh, here's Narga. What's up, bro? Everything I wanted to hit. No. Yes, my poison. No. Let's get one ball bang off. Let's get one wall bang off and tenderize the head. Are fights with monsters mostly solo? There are a couple monsters that are designed to be fought with multiple people. But otherwise, everything is more or less designed so that you could solo it if you want. Even the multiplayer monsters are kind of designed so that if you were really stubborn, you could do them. a good amount of Nargakugas in my life. I wanted to do the uh, wet fish quest, oh well. <laughs> my vitality medal! <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing this like a full speed run. If I were just trying to get through, I would be relying on Fortify a lot more. Oh, this is a little scary. Hold on. Let's chill out for a second. Take a breath. Well, I mean, for a Latron, if I did not farm up a sufficient ice weapon, we just lose. Wait, that's an attack? 
That does damage? He's just snuffling at the ground. <laughs> what? He was just like rubbing his nose on the ground. That was kind of funny. A lot of sniffs are attacks, like when Ajanoth is sniffing, is that damage? That wasn't really my intention, but I'll take it. damage on that mounting attack. I mean, if you get lucky, I don't know when he gets it, but there, he's a move where he like boosts your raw. Even if he's not boosting your raw, he's probably giving you some buff that might do something. Like, I've, I had stamina, and well, I got stun resist on right now. <laughs> Just ignored that death flag, I guess. Uh, we're going to use this to tenderize the face, probably. People definitely loop the sword and shield thing, fugly. It was a very common thing against Behemoth, so that you can keep him kind of occupied while people just hit him. I still find it very interesting that we're in this reality where this game is suddenly popular again. <laughs> I mean, lucky me, I guess. It made the second area with our tornadoes way more bearable. I think that's the main thing. That's the wrong side? Now you're exhausted? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. He's so funny. He just gets up immediately. No! I don't like this amount of health that I have. That's not good. You do your double. Oh, 
A little worried about how much healing we've left. I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, but... It's a consideration. You know, Narga makes a lot of interesting sounds. God, missing that claw, claw earlier really hurts. Narga is the coolest monster. He's definitely popular. He'll probably do very well in that boat. Hit any. Did I hit anything? He's almost there. He's dropping pods and he's poisoned. Which monster do you think would be number one? I don't know how many normies voted. If normies voted, it would be Rathalos. If it were like a lot of people voting. Norgigante, uh, not Norgigante, Nargakuga. It's like Nar Nargakuga or Rathalos. Zenogre would be up there too. It would not, probably not be Lavazia, but you know, you never know. What? Well, I got his foot. Oh, you're in trouble now. <sighs> These are some like sloppy hits I'm getting. That's fine. He's getting a little sloppy too. You can't hit me from up there. You gotta come down. What are you doing? You know, either go to the tree or he's gonna fall off the ledge. Pick the tree. I don't know if I ever got a KO off. Oh my god, the hit stop. <laughs> Yo! Oh no, he's gonna go right into the tunnel. God damn it. You know, I'm gonna say you're ready though. These poor Jagras. They did not deserve that. KT was fun. KT was a good time. So we can upgrade our weapon now. 
That's kind of huge. Why is there hit stop? Because it looks good. And it tells you when you're hitting a good hit spot. Lo estás haciendo genial. Oh, this is so good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, the upgrade is so good. 40 more raw. Jeez. And more poison. We're at 79 poison now? We're getting 20 more poison? For what? The sleep, you know, if I didn't hate Nightshade, the Nightshade Greatsword actually looks kind of okay. What's good? What's good? Turn up. 87 poison. That's so good. Street Fighter 3, <laughs> third strike. Well, that is a good game. Man, I used up a lot of healing there. I, I must have been face tanking a lot of hits. That tells me I should end the stream. We're getting sloppy. Thank you everyone for watching today. What does poison attack echoes do? They give you more poison on your weapon. Thirty percent poison buildup. That's thirty percent more poison. I don't know why it says buildup. Why are attacking ammo to damage so low? Is it mod? Yes. It makes it more accurate. Estás bien? Regardless of effectiveness, what's my favorite weapon to use? I don't have a favorite weapon. I use all the weapons. Uh, How much crit do I have? Fifteen? <laughs> Not a lot. That's fine. It's good enough. All right, I'm leaving. See you all tomorrow. We will... Uh, there's a small chance we could get to Shara again tomorrow. Small chance. We'll see. Uh, I'm not, I don't want to send my cats out to get Artie in. Otherwise, I would. Although, I don't have the crit for it anyways. All right. I love you.